There's something about the way you look in my eyes Like a starry night you light up my sky You lean in closer and my heart starts to pound I heard you sigh, you know I love that sound He's bouncing off my booty cheeks, I love the way he rides I can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside is on my pussy call him daddy while i holler man that boy so damn good looking we made love and then he kissed me i don't want it to end every day we spend together i fall more into him that boy he takes my breath away i can't find the words to say so i wrote this little note kiss it seal it so you know i've got some time You've got some time to You've been on my mind, baby Let me remind you while I lay you down I can't get enough I'm stuck in your love That's fine with me Nowhere else I wanna be He's bouncing off my booty cheeks I love the way he rides I can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside I kiss him on his neck and then he kisses on my pussy I gotta ask, is that song supposed to be ironic or no? Happy Easter? Yeah, dude, boys, apparently it's Easter. Uh, go figure, man. If this is the Easter Bunny, Jesus Christ, they ain't leaving my house. Uh, yeah, nah, I, 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 it's Easter, I guess. I don't know. I think, the, I think the older I get, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I never gave a fuck about holidays. You know what holiday I give a fuck about? Christmas. That's it. Christmas, only good one. Halloween fucking sucks. It's an inconvenience. It it legit. Wait, is it Easter tomorrow? Well, I got no idea. It's either today or tomorrow, man. Valentine's Day is fucking depressing. Like genuinely. Like okay, it's like all right. So like, if you don't have a girlfriend on Valentine's Day, well, you just you're just gonna fucking you're gonna commit suicide. You know what I mean? Like that's pretty much. I mean, like, dude, do you know the suicide rate on Valentine's Day is fucking insane? It's like literally a holiday designed to make you want to kill yourself, right? Or at least keep you in the cog, keep you in the cog of society to where it's like, oh, yeah, dude, the point of human life is to find another person and procreate. And that's the whole meaning of life, bro. It's such a bad holiday. Well, what what else is there? Okay, Easter shit. Uh, You hide eggs. And people look around your house for candy that, let's just be real, fucking sucks. I like, what else? COG? What the fuck is COG? Look at this. Look at what? What'd I say? I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, so full disclosure, I've already been up for three hours. Okay? I'm not in a good mood. Just, I'm gonna keep it 100%. Not in a fucking good mood today, guys. Okay, I've already been up three hours. Barely fucking slept. Okay, I was supposed to do a fucking sponsor call. They were an hour and a half late. I fucking waffled with my Discord. And I had to hear out. Dude, dude, dude. I've never heard more people put out more misinformation in my entire life than when I sat in my Discord and listened to these fucking noobs try to talk about Cookie Run Kingdom. Saying that there's a fucking... 
massive wall at breaking 200k in Cookie Run Kingdom? What the fuck are these cookie noobs fucking talking about, man? Like, you're going to complain about 200k? Bro, one of my units alone has 560,000, and I've only paid for three weeks. And they're like, oh, well, dude, you paid money. Bro, I, the first time I spent money, I already had 700k in Cookie Run Kingdom. These people just don't get it, bro. Also, yo, Zadie, YouTube, thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. I appreciate you. Straight up. Like, dude, dude, dude. These people are so bad. These people are so bad. These motherfuckers don't know about biscuits. These motherfuckers don't know to upgrade your toppings. These motherfuckers don't know about bonds. These motherfuckers don't know about the towers that you raise. Like, like these, these motherfuckers don't know about guild bonuses. Like, these people don't know about Ascendant Statue. They don't know shit about this fucking game. Wait, new Mr. Beast? We're now sure. From five minutes ago? Oh shit, we're watching this. Dude, 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 dude. These people, these people, they want to sit there and act like they're top, top cookie in the cookie kingdom. Yet they don't know shit. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is, is when they sit there with their European accent. And they just say, oh, well, actually, the game is quite pay to win. No, it's fucking not. No, it's fucking not. The game is pay to win if you want to be top 500 in arena. It is. Okay? That is 1% of the game. That is 1% of the game. All right, let's just be racist now. Hey, don't worry, bro. Germans are white. You, you can't be racist to them. Uh, that's not how it works. Okay? It is fucking irritating. Now, imagine now having 1.5 mil power. Uh, here's the thing, buddy. I have 1.7. Okay? It, it, first of all, it's the same for any gotcha PvP. But the thing is, for Cookie Run, you, you barely get anything between whether you're Diamond 1 or whether you're Grandmaster. It makes no fucking difference. It's maybe the difference of 5,000 gems every fucking week that would cost you 5 million gems just to get. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay, I bet their cookies are crunchy. Oh, yeah, they are. White Lily Shard in Arena Shop, this time for real. Shut the fuck up. Don't. Don't expose me for already being on Cookie Run. Don't, 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 don't. Because I swear to God, bro, if you say this shit and you're lying, you're banned. On my life. On my life, you're banned. You are banned. You are banned if it's not in there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll pull it up. I'll give you, I'll give you a second to retract your shot because you're getting banned. If White Lily's not in this shop, you're fucking banned. So here we go. Checking Seaside Market real quick. Don't need nothing. We're all good. Checking Rainbow Shell Gallery. We have an Ice Queen or a Sea Witch. We will pick that up. Now I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over. No sounds? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. You want to hear the... Okay. Sorry. You want to hear the little cookie game? You be feel better? We'll do a 10 poll, just because chat's here. Just because chat's here, we'll do one 10 poll. We'll do one. Just for chat. Ooh. Rough. We'll do one more, because chat's here. They've been good. They've been good. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. And now we'll never do another one ever again, because some guy wah ha ha at me when I got fucked. We'll do one more. We'll do one more, just to keep things interesting. We get a cookie, and with one cookie, there's a chance. With every cookie, there's a chance. With every cookie, there's a chance. Ancient. Yo! Ah, oh, we get a pure vanilla though. We get a pure vanilla, that's a dub. That's a dub so close to White Lily, bro. So close, bro. Fucking ancient again. That's a dub. That's a dub. It's a dub. It's a dub. It's a dub. Pure Vanilla is amazing. But oh, I saw it, dude. It's possible. It's possible. It's fucking possible. Healing is my specialty. She's so close to being here, man. We get an ancient. Oh, my God. I almost came. Oh, White Lily, why won't you be here for me? 
Oh, golden cheese is so close too. Oh, dude, an ancient that wasn't holly berry, golden cheese, or white lily. Holy fuck. Insane. Insane way. Insane way to start today. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, boys. Insane way. I I'm going to the arena shop. If there's no white lily in there, you're banned. Do you want to take back what you said? Before I click, I'm giving you some time. my heart and soul into this performance. I'm gonna go check. Because if I go in here and I see pure vanilla, I'm not gonna be happy. Fucking dark cacao. Like, what's the point of just lying? Like, what? What is the, like, do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel good? Wait, are all arena shops different? It's different per account? What? Surely that's cap. Surely, surely that's fucking cap. Arena shops are different? You know what? This team has 500,000 more power than me, but here's the thing, I'm better. And trust me with this battle. I'll just win. I'll just win. I will just simply win. I will simply just win, because I'm better. Because I'm better, I'll win. Because I'm better, I will win. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Because I'm better! Because I'm better! Get him out. Hey, prepare to be washed away, bitch. Losers lose. Losers fucking lose. Try again, bitch boy. 500k, 500k power don't fucking matter. Don't matter. When you're going up against me, there's no comparison. I will ruin your fucking life. And that's a promise, sweetheart. Just wait till I get my biscuit. Can't unhear it, please. <laughs> it is so bad. That song is so bad. Okay, Jesus Christ. Can't unhear it? Yeah, I know, man. I know, I know, I know. Truly, truly, truly a fucked up day. Uh, I believe there was a YouTube video that I really needed to react to, but I can't recall what it was. Uh, what was it? What? Whose ass is that, bro? You're wasting your time. No. Let me. F Stop touching. Delete it. Delete what? You stupid fucking play bitch. But I don't want to be with you no more. Delete it. Bro, stop hitting my shit. She wants me to bait her to touch her, and it's just not gonna happen. Gotcha. This Giga Chad energy shit, man. <laughs> hey, even though you really want to hit, what the fuck? Uh, even though you really want to hit women, don't, right? Channel that rage against women to fuel yourself. Oh my God, so stupid. Anyways, guys, anyways, uh, YouTube, YouTube recommended goes crazy today. Uh, let me check if I have anything that I need to watch on stream today. 
I really feel like there was something that I was supposed to watch, but maybe there just fucking wasn't. Listen to this, you're going to love it. Okay. I don't want to listen to four big guys. Don't care. Solo leveling season two is already announced? I don't even think season one's done. Already announced? Today was the last episode? Well, where did it get to? Oh, it got to a rise? Oh, that's sick. Oh, bro, about fucking time. That's when the show actually gets insane. It is, it is, dude, dude, it, it fucking turns up to 100 once he gets a rise, but that's actually so nasty. What's this? Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Needs black, needs more black spawn. Solo leveling is peak mid. Oh yeah, no, it's 100%. Solo leveling is garbage, 1 million percent. But it's very, 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 very enjoyable garbage. Like very enjoyable garbage. A TikTok react. Beta. I'm going to watch this whole thing. You are a, you are a 13 month sub. Non-Gloria Pharaoh. You linked me this. And I'm going to figure out why the fuck you linked me this. Let's, let's figure this out. I can edge. 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 Have you ever been on an edging streak? Edge. Edge. When you're not performing your edging, do they make you mog? Edge. Edge. Phantom tax. Phantom tax. What's it like to hold the guillot of someone you love? Grimace shake. Grimace shake. Within Riz can't all tilt. Within Riz can't all tilt. What's it like to be filled with Riz? Skibbity. Skibbity. Do you like being separated from other Sigmas? Edge. Edge. I will click the follow button. Follow. Follow. Skibbity. Edge. Riz. Now, now let me ask you a question. What? What reaction, what reaction did you think I was going to have when you sent me that? Genuine question. What, what did you think I was going to do? Did you think I was going to, did you think I was going to lose my mind and giggle like a little schoolgirl? I am genuinely curious. Uh, here's a better video. Best version of Bing, Bo Bing Bang Born. It's the mummy, it's the mummy, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually insane. Dude, 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 dude. You know what I realized? I was watching uh, Kai Sedat. I know. I know. Underground streamer. You probably haven't heard of him. So I was watching some Kai Sedat, and I realized something. 90% of his content is him just lip syncing songs. Have y'all noticed that? Because I feel like 90% of his stream, if you were to click on it at any time, it will be him lip syncing a song. So was like that what you're supposed to do? Nope. Yep. I'll pull it up right now. I guarantee he's lip syncing something. I'll just pull it up. Never mind. Let's play Red Dead. This game is actually really good, chat. Never mind. Okay. Well, man, hey, maybe it was just a coincidence. But okay, okay. I bet you if I go back within 30 minutes of his VOD, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, bro. Nah, I'm telling you, man, I've seen way too much shit. I'm telling dude, okay, we'll go through his VOD. Yeah, Casually wrong? No, let's say, hold up. Hold up. Broadcast. We're here? 
We'll go back before he plays Red Dead. What was he doing before he played a game? Clearly, he can't lip sync before. Hey. That's what we doing, bro. No! Hold up. The moment he stops playing video games, bro, I told you immediately. Thirty minutes before that, same thing. This is an hour. So before you say I'm fucking wrong, okay, I'm saying outside of gaming content, all he does is lip sync, okay? So maybe, maybe, maybe that's what the kids like. So maybe we do some anime opening lip sync competition and we hopefully don't come off as racist, right? That's the plan, right? We'll get naked and we'll lip sync every Naruto theme song. Game of the year, I I'm going to click this link. I bet you it's Stellar Blade. Let me look at some of the, the the characters. So these are the different outfits the character has. And you've got... Okay. Unequip. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, what happens if I unequip it? Skin suit. Oh my god. This is crazy. Is it good? Is it is it good? Okay. Let me actually put my armor back on. Let me actually put my dick away. Yo, Jimmy, good morning, buddy. Uh, I got a story to tell you guys. Uh I got a story to tell you guys real quick. So yesterday, as you guys know, I had to leave stream a little bit early. I had to leave stream a little bit early. And I want to tell you what I did last night. Because I know a lot of y'all are very upset. Okay? Yesterday, I went over to my friend Jimmy Here's house. And I played my first ever game of Dungeons and Dragons. For the next three to five minutes, I will bring you on a tale of my first experience ever playing Dungeons and Dragons. Didn't know what I was doing, but my dungeon master had made me a character sheet. They wanted to call me John Tectone. I quickly exited out of that name and changed my name to Torque. I was starting off as a level three barbarian. Unfortunately, I had zero in charisma. So I took all of my points out of intellect and I maxed my charisma because let's be real guys. Okay. I may not be too smart, but damn you, everybody in chat would fuck me. Let's just, let's just keep it hundred <laughs> percent. It didn't help. Jimmy, why are you spoiling? <laughs> why are you spoiling? My ally was Niggles, my buddy Zizix. My other ally was King Anna. They were a fighter. My other ally. It's a, it was with a G guys. Bro, 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 guys, 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 guys. It, guys, 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 guys. His name, that's his name and it, that was his name. That was his name. That, guys, guys, that is his name. What is going on? He was a gnome who giggled. He's a gnome. It was a, he's a gnome who giggled. G uh, g guys. <laughs> g guys. Gu hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me call him. Yeah, here we go. All right. Can't even say, can't even say a homie's name these days. Can't even, can't even say, can't even say my homie's name these Your days. Call has been forwarded to oh, he fucking hung up. Son of a bitch. He don't want to hear my ass either. All right. So anyways, 
We continue forward. We have my buddy Glorp. Loro is playing him. Glorp. The mage. Glorp the mage. Canonically, my son. We wake up in a land unfamiliar of how we got there. Can I not say his name? So what will I do? What, what, so I, for, I have to break him. Do I have to say his real name? Because I can't say his in-game name. Like, come on. Are we that weak to where I can't even say his fucking username? Just say gnome? Oh my God, I can't, I can't even call him his name. Call him Giggles? His name's not Giggles. His name isn't Giggles. Bro, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> like, bro, it's not even a bad word. It's not even a bad word. It's just his username. Are you so, are, are, dude, are we that sensitive these days? I can't even say a word that sounds like it. Bro, y'all are insane. Bro, y'all are so weak, it's fucking insane. Y'all are afraid of fucking everything, bro. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> it's just his username. Oh my God, bro. Nah, you can say it. <laughs> I gotta get permission to say my homie's username in Dungeons and Dragons. The gnome who giggles. I'm black, I give you the niggles pass. You know what, we're just not even gonna say his fucking name anymore, man. We'll just call him Giggles and we'll just be fucking weak. His chat's gonna be weird about me saying his fucking username, bro. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway, you know what, I'll just call him Zizix and we'll break all the immersion. Is that what you want? Let's just take immersion and throw it out the fucking door because we're afraid of a word that sounds like another word. Jesus Christ. Okay, fuck it. But yeah, oh, hey, hey, say bye to your immersion. So here we go, guys. So me and Zizix, me and Zizix, Glorp, and King Anna, we awake in a land. And our vision is slightly blurred and we take a smell. And we sell something sweet, something tasty, something divine. We awakened in a world made of candy. And we open our eyes. We roll for perception. King Anna hits a nat 20. We see candy floss grass, chocolate bar trees, and we even see a river made of root beer with a little chocolate muffin creature quickly scampering into the forest that I attempted to chase, but I was too slow and I fell down. We go, Glorp immediately jumps into the candy river gets sticky, drinks just the right amount of root beer to not upset his tummy, and gets out. But unfortunately, I need to preface this with Zizix is black. I need to preface this. It's very important. Zizix is canonically black in game and out of game. I'm white. LaRoe's white. King Anna's white. So the banana police show up. Guess who they go after? <laughs> If you were to guess who the banana police go after immediately, who do you think, who do you think they went up to? Who do you think they went up to immediately? Well, unfortunately, I'm no, no longer allowed to say his name. They went up to Zizix immediately. They went up to Zizix immediately. I'm over at Candy River. I roll, I hit a 16 on perception check. I notice that the police are here. I know I'm white, I know he's black. So I roll again, and I would like to leap, I would like to leap over to Zizix's side using my acrobatics. I hit a 12 plus my five to acrobatics. I hit a 17. I leap in front of Zizix, formerly known as, apparently I can't say it, but you can say it, Chad, I give you the pass. Uh, I leap to his side, I leap to his side, and the banana police say, we don't usually get your kind here. I turn around to my boy Z and I say, officer, what do you mean your kind? 
and they say, humans. And I say, oh, okay. All right, all right. What, what, what seems to be the problem here, officer? And he says, well, last time humans were here, they attempted to help us with the curse that's been laid upon our town. And we've come here to beckon your aid once again. And we look around and I say, sure, why not? The officers are being a little bit of dickheads. Anna, Glorp, Zizix, me. We go into the town. We find the armory to get geared up. I see the caramel apple sword, a sword so powerful, so strong that nobody has ever lifted it before, ever. I roll strength. I was a weak bitch. Couldn't pick it up. Ada goes for fun with plus zero strength, rolls a nat 20. And she gets the caramel apple sword or the caramel apple great axe. And she rubs that shit in my face. But thankfully, skip, skip, skipping ahead. The Zizix, you know him as the gnome. He gets his staff. Glorp grabs an ice shard and he's freaking the fuck out because it merges to his hand immediately. And he starts slinging ice cubes around trying to get it off. Almost kills all of us, but we narrowly avoid. I find the Jolly Rancher sword. Now, to most people, it wasn't really a sword. It was more like a massive, massive piece of candy. I roll. I get an 18. I wield it. The Jolly Rancher sword is mine. I go to lick it. It wasn't that massive. No, guys, it was huge. I go to lick it. Minus one durability. <laughs> That was a misplay. <laughs> I get my sword. We walk out. We, we, it was actually a very big sword, Jimmy. I remember I was the one holding it. Okay. We go. We find the grandmothers of the two banana officers and she makes us banana bread. Her children had recently deceased and she turned them into food for us, which we were appreciative of then but we didn't realize how much that would change the course of time forever. We go on to begin our adventure to free the town. That's not canon. It is canon. <laughs> Stop adding cliff notes. So anyways, we go on to begin our journey. We begin up our ascent, the ice mountain. And Torg is an avid, avid ca cartoon watcher, and he's starting to get a little bit suspicious because I'm like, I feel like I know this world. Candy trees, candy village, ice mountain. This feels familiar. And all of a sudden, over the horizon, we hear a noise. The sounds of penguins. The sounds of penguins coming over the mountain but they're armed with spears and shields. My comrades immediately get into their battle stance, but not me, not Torque. I get down on one knee, I take a piece of my banana bread and I offer it to them as a sign of truce. They bit me. They almost took my finger clear off And I take three damage. Glorp readies his ice shard. Immediately pierces one of the penguin skulls. Dead immediately. Ada goes to hit the penguins. Misses. Falls on her ass. Zizix goes to hit the penguins. Misses. Falls on his ass. I contemplating the life and death skip my turn because I can't bear to hit these penguins Glorp once again takes his ice shard pierces the next penguin skull tears running down my eyes one penguin left Anna prepares her caramel great axe again swings 
misses again, falls on her ass. Zizix readies his battle shard. Swings, misses again, falls on his ass. I go, and I attempt an anime moment. I drop my sword. I go to the penguin, and I give it a hug, and attempt to console it, because I know these penguins aren't evil, because I know they're being controlled by a greater force. And the penguin bit me again. <laughs> and at this point, I'm just pissed off. Glorp goes, readies his ice shard. Nat 20s, pierces the last penguin skull, kills it again, immediately. And as I go to pick up these penguins' dead corpses, screaming at my party members, how could you do this to them? They melt to water. Golems, creations, elemental, by a force greater than us, they were never penguins at all. They were elementals, controlled by the wizard, in their puddles. We find a tear. Glorp picks it up, attaches to his face, takes over his eyeball, and now he looks really cool. And that's it. There was no negative downside. It just made him look really cool. Oh, I also want to mention a side note. Glorp also found four rings that were cursed, but they only cursed him to look cool. So now he has plus five charisma innately, and he just looks really cool. So yeah, I mean, Glorp, Glorp bodied all the penguins by himself, and he just looks really cool. Yeah, so he, I mean, he, he, he owned. He owned. Yo, Z. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm on stream real quick, and I, I was just um, I was just wondering real quick, what is your gnome's name? Oh, my gnome? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's my little guy. Yeah, that's the last. Yeah. But like, gnomes kind of small, right? So they're the last. They want to get it, right? So. Yeah. You know, naturally, I made his his name is Niggas. It was the gnome. And, and, am I allowed to say that? Why wouldn't you? That, that's what I'm saying, but I said it, and then my chat don't like that I said it. It's a G word. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, okay, well, but maybe, maybe it's because they didn't see how it's spelled. Maybe you got to spell it. I, I spelled it out, and they got it a little bit. Yeah, it's just a G word. Okay. Yeah, it's the noble kids. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so I'm allowed to say it. Of course, why wouldn't you? All right, cool. I appreciate you. Hey, you have a good one, baby. Bye, peace. <clears throat> Guys, I have the G word pass. <laughs> so, I'm sitting there and I feel like a fool because all these penguins hurt my allies badly. And I kind of feel like I'm responsible for it. So I try to come up with my own move to be red or Betty for red or Betty better ready for combat in the near future. I tell my allies, boys, check this bullshit out. I take my sword and I tell them, I call this one blade storm and I spin around with it at max speed. I hit a 13. I learn a new move, blade storm, but I also hit a mountain which causes a shockwave that grew under cacophony until it could be heard aloud in space. There was no time. Non-cannon move, but it, it, but it worked. But it worked. But unfortunately, it's in a shockwave through the mountain, alerting three more golems. It's very important to notice that this time Zizix could no longer play, so he was taken over by JP. Uh, and so now Niggles the Gnome has been retired, and now we have JP. Okay, and now his name is Sweetness. Now his name is Sweetness. Okay. So. You're going to notice a big difference between Zizix and JP's gameplay. Okay, oh, sorry. Dr. Sweetness. Dr. Sweetness. So we go up the mountain and three ice golems were alerted of our location. And these were big fucking dudes. I take my sword immediately. And I slash through one. 
I slash through one immediately and I sever its legs. Its husk falls to the ground. Glorp takes his ice wand, throws it at the golems to no effect. Ada takes her axe and says, Torek has a cool signature move, so I want my own. She puts a ribbon on the end of her caramel battle axe and yells out, Ribbon Shuriken! Throws the axe, barely grazes the golems, but pulls the axe back. So she now has a ranged attack. But Dr. Sweetness pulls out a lighter and runs away. Into the mountain, he attempts to melt his way into the mountain. He runs like a coward, like, like a pathetic coward, like a pathetic coward, mind you. Torque begins to disassociate because he can't understand why this world feels so familiar yet so different at the same time. And he looks at his hand, he looks at his sword, and he thinks perhaps there is something greater. He takes his hand and he slams it against his sword, attempting to signal the might of the Uchiha clan. He slashes his hand open, blood rinsed over him. He pours the blood of himself on his own face in order to channel something greater. Nothing happens, but he looked really cool doing it. Glorp is beginning to freak out because Torque's out here and killed himself for no reason. And he begins to conjure the biggest snowball ever. Rolls a nat 20. And this snowball is like half the size of the earth. He calls it the super mega ball. But it's going to take another turn for him to cast it. Anna goes, ribbon shuriken. It doesn't work again. Goes back to Torque. Torque, when he poured the blood over his face, he felt something warm and energy rising from within him. And he wants to go test it out. He looks at one of the golems and he raises his hands. Ka me ha. Me! Ha! And one of the golems. He rolls a two, it does nothing, and Torque looks like an idiot. <laughs> Torque then uses his bonus actions. <laughs> he drops his sword and he tackles one of the golems on top of the other golem. And he makes a line. He makes a line between these two golems and the range golem and Glorp's super mega ball. All the while, Dr. Sweetness finally gets inside the cave. Inside, dark, can't see a thing, rolls a perception check. It works out, he sees everything. A room, dark, filled with storage. He takes his lighter, he lights the torches. Inside, he finds an enchanted necklace, and in the enchanted necklace, he sees through all of the eyes of every golem in the fortress. As well as, he finds a coat made of penguin fur, and it looks pretty cool. Dr. Sweetness attempts to leave the cavern with all of his new, new loot to help us out, but a kidnapper comes with a sack, puts it over his head, and starts fucking him in the ass as he gets returned back to the kingdom, takes icicles and shoves them up Dr. Sweetness's ass. That part didn't happen. <laughs> but he did get kidnapped. He did get kidnapped. He did get kidnapped and brought to an undisclosed location. The only one who notices this is Torque. As Torque is sitting there with both golems in a headlock, he sees his ally be taken away, but he's too heated in the moment to alert his party members. Glorp looks at me, 
Torque looks at him and Torque accepts his own death because he knows this Super Bowl will not hit unless I keep them pinned. Glorp, with a tear in his eye, throws the snowball. It comes plummeting towards me. But Anna rolls an 18, takes the ribbon from her axe, throws it on Torque, pulls him off the golem's bodies at the last second. Snowball barrels all of the golem out of the way, and they're dead. But an avalanche starts. Glorp runs to the cavern that Dr. Sweetness opened up. I run to the cavern. Anna rolls a four and trips. I roll a 19. I grab her, put her on my back, and I get it into the cavern, but barely. The avalanche still comes and breaks both of Anna's legs. But I got her in, losing her legs, but in the process, I save her life. Glorp uses his ice magic to make her new prosthetic legs, but she will no longer be as nimble as she once was. Torque remembers, where is Dr. Sweetness? He was taken away. We walk into the storage cavern. We're looking for Dr. Sweetness anywhere. And Torque goes, just to check. Nothing. No animals. So we thought. Anna rolls a perception check. And she feels one of the crates calling out to us. We go, we open it. Inside, we find a jar. She's too afraid to open it. Because, you know, well, we know what people do with jars. We open the box. Inside the jar. Torque opens it. Torque opens the jar. Not a single moment of hesitation. And black smoke fills the air. We can barely breathe. What do we do? When there's smoke, there's fire. Anna takes the torch, shoves it inside of the jar in an attempt to stop this air from escaping. A spark ignites in the jar. And what do we hear? A fire cat is summoned from the jar. And a new party member has been acquired. His name? Stove. Stove the fire cat. Joins our party. 15 HP with the control of fire magic. We hear a maniacal laughter. We've alerted the Winter Prince, formerly known as the Snow King, but that was copyrighted. The Winter Prince. He lights up the room even more. There was a secret passageway. In there, we see Dr. Sweetness, fully nude, on a leash, with a massive icicle up his ass. Above the Winter Prince, the princess, covered in ice in a prison. Non-canon except the leash. There was an icicle on his ass! I remember! I remember! Glorp, without hesitation, doesn't even say hello. Glorp immediately takes his wand, starts channeling the Mega Ball, starts channeling the fucking Mega Ball, doesn't even give him a second to think. Torque takes his sword and attempts to jam it in front of Glorp to make sure he doesn't get interrupted. Slams it into the cold ice, cold ice floor, cold ice ceiling, icicles from above, room 40 feet out, 100 feet long. But in the process, the ice is too strong. And Torque, with his strength, breaks his own sword into two pieces. It looked like this originally. But now, it looks more so 
like this. Anna goes, ribbon shuriken. She misses. She should really stop doing that move. Dr. Sweetness attempts to break free from the collar to no avail. Anna tells Stove to shoot his fire at the princess. She didn't have enough Pokemon badges. Stove didn't do it. <laughs> did a little spit, did nothing. Maybe melted about a cup or two of water on the ground. The Mega Ball thrown. Glorp didn't know his own strength. Lands right in front of the Ice King. Ice King steps back. Torque takes his sword, puts it over Stove. Heats it up, but unfortunately, he overheats it and has now completely melted his candy sword. But underneath it, the hilt falls off, and with it, he's left with a molten dagger. He takes the molten dagger. Torque throws his molten dagger, attempting to get a hatchet kill cam like they do in Call of Duty, but it pierces in the ceiling. And he also completely misses. It's a shit show. The Ice King, sorry, Winter Prince, throws icicles. He misses. He throws icicles. He misses. Conjures a blizzard. He misses. <sighs> he's also pretty shit. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's pretty garbage. I'm not going to fucking cap. Ada attempts Ribbon Shuriken again. She misses. Again. Glorp sprints up. To the top of the snowball, shoots an icicle, grazes his shoulder, minus 6 HP on the Winter Prince. Winter Prince barely flinches. At this point, the party member thought I was unarmed, but they forgot. My sword had broken, and I've lost this, and I've lost that, but you know what I haven't lost? This piece. I grabbed that piece of sword. I throw it at the roof. It knocks my dagger down. But unfortunately, it's going to fall directly on Glorp. Glorp goes to kick the dagger, but he's not that coordinated. And the dagger pierces his leg <laughs> into the snowball. At this point, Glorp is screaming and crying because that shit hurt like a motherfucker. That, that shit hurt like a motherfucker. And he's like, he's like screaming and crying. Yeah, he rolled a nat one, by the way, for that. He rolled a nat one. <laughs> very unfortunate. <laughs> very, very, very unfortunate. Anna's panicking. Glorp is panicking. He manages to graze it one more time. The Ice King blizzards hits all of us. King Sweetness still watching, doing absolutely fucking nothing. He's missed like four rolls in a row. He gets us all down to 20 HP. It's not looking good. It's looking very bad. I'm at 20 HP. Anna's at 6 HP. Glorp is at 10 HP. I feel the same rage come from, inside me, come from, come from inside me. I check my character sheet, and it says that I was a master in great axe, great swords, and also... Unarmed combat. I look at where the snowball was and I feel the Ice King's power. I put one finger on the snowball and I go, and I go, and I one inch punch, one inch punch the snowball directly at the Ice King. But the Ice King separated it, split it in two. One went to the left, one went to the right. And for the first moment, Torque believed the Ice King felt fear. He didn't feel fear. But in Torque's head, he's freaking out. But the Ice King, he doesn't care. He doesn't, he doesn't care at all. Okay? Anyways, we continue fourth. Glorp. Throws another ice shard. He misses. Anna, ribbon shuriken, grazes 
His leg loses like four more HP. Doesn't really do anything. And King Sweden has struggled some more. At this point, the Ice King is laughing. Cinder's doing nothing. And I realize I have to take matters in my own hand. I run up to the Ice King. And I say, after all the pain you've caused this kingdom, my friends, you too will know pain. I sprint directly at him. I roll an 18. Take all of the strength and pain of all of my friends. And I punch him square in his fucking face. Blood splatters from the Ice King. I make eye contact with him. He makes eye contact with me. And that was truly the first moment that Ice King knew fear. I'm in melee range. Anna's in melee range. And the Ice King AoE explodes. I take 15 damage. I'm down to 5 HP. Anna takes 5 damage. She's down to 5 HP. Anna, while being knocked back, while being knocked back from the ice explosion, takes her axe, the ribbon axe, throws it, uses the knockback to her advantage, breaks through his barrier, and cuts his head clean off with the ribbon axe. The Ice King was slain. The princess was freed. We roll a charisma check. Torque wins. And I start raw dogging that bitch in front of all my party members while they watch. I bust in that bitch's ass three times. And then I bring her back to the kingdom. And then we fuck five more times. The world is saved. All four of us go back to our respective worlds. And Anna brings Cinder, the cat, back home with her that transforms into a normal kitty. And we saved the Candy Kingdom. And that was my first time playing D&D. It was good. It was good. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was genuinely, it was genuinely a fucking blast. Wait, can you show proof of that happening? Uh... Yeah, I probably could. Yo, Jimmy, can you send me a photo? Can you can you send me a photo of our character sheets or no? <laughs> it was good. Three to five minute journey. I, I don't know, man. It was good. Jimmy's not here. He's always here. What do you mean? New Mr. Beast here. We got to watch that shit, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Better yet. New Mr. Beast! Stranded oh! on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean! And we're gonna be stranded here for the next seven days. Oh. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? Yeah, I why do they keep doing that? Despite its beauty, They're civilization sure, right? has not been able to survive on this island for They're over 250 for sure. years. They but for the next dead. seven days, we're gonna try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, I say we kick things off by us going and looking for wood. Is this not the island they use for Survivor? And you two... We'll prep camp. Yes. Have fun with that. Come on, Chad. Ain't that the dude who loses every challenge? You know, I don't know. And so we immediately got to work, but we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Why are we what? still standing here? And meanwhile, Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. Also, ain't building on the beach like really fucking bad for high tide? I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not going to fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came across some wildlife on the island. Oh, look at these chickens over here. <laughs> hey, wait, stop running away. And it wasn't Can't long until I found out why the chickens were afraid of us. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah. Uh, wait, what is that? Oh, uh, uh, it's a knife. Were yeah. you going to try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you eat for dinner before you got here? Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of day one preparing it is wild, camp, bro. which was pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're going to make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. 
That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out, except one thing. How do they fire? It really Wait, ain't that on. hard. Isn't sunscreen flammable? <laughs> it's the end so of day one, cheat, and I'm already Jimmy? starting to get a little sunburn. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight. And I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During Dude, I know people like these new surviving on things for like seven days. But like, man, I just miss the days where Jimmy would just blow money. You know, like grind up a fucking Lamborghini. You know, that's the content that I enjoy. The first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a We're lot. We're like blowing up, blowing up a we, children's hospital. I mean me. So it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. We're looking for very long, sturdy sticks we can put across the top of our shelter. That way when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy gathering resources for Why our new shelter, Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found an ocean Horses. buoy. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. D it Did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh, yeah. that is nice. Okay, I'll take it. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. All right, be careful, it's a big knife. I feel like this shit for a stream would be such fun content. <laughs> but also like really <laughs> fucking bad content. And of content. course, tried to catch chickens. Hey, chickens, run! Because out of seven days, uh, less than 1% of the footage was actually used. <laughs> what? Right away, but it would still be fun, doing? I think. Alright, I saved him. You wouldn't survive? It's not Day hard, two is coming to an end. Chickens. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought yeah, we would. But little did I know, later that night, things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now... If you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Because it's the only way for us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and, you know, not dying of dehydration. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water. And now we're down to six. It's day Ooh. two. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? Sean, I agree. Dude, I feel like I'm, I'm like actually slowly killing myself because I don't drink water. I just drink soda all day. And like, that's the only thing I drink. I like exclusively drink soda. And like, I feel like I can feel, I feel like I can feel my body rotting. Cause like, dude, people, people tell me that, wait, what's that? Kidney stones. Ooh. Uh, tea on the railing. Oh, wait, you got me a tea. Oh, I got a tea for me. You're gonna get kidney stones. Yeah, but I'll just piss them out. You know what I mean? Like how bad can it really be? Thanks, Becky. Like how, how bad can they be? Like, sure, like, you, it'll hurt, you know? But, like, it won't kill me, so who cares? For you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. We need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost $1.5 million on the channel in the Why last you gotta say it like that? It's a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, okay, the second night loser. of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. And for whatever reason, Chandler and I got the worst of it. I got no sleep last night. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Do you see that? Wow, that's fucking terrible. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's just Yeah, this. kill So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan yep. is basically to put a giant net right here, tie it to a string up there, and then 
catch a chicken. Yo. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would have happened. But given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. That is strong net. Is that... There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then what hoisted the, the rope fuck? up over Wait, the tree, tied so the good. rope to all four corners, Yo, boom, and it was ready. Ready. It works? That works? That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys were doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. Thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest, at first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting... No way! <laughs> what?! It worked! Give it tight! Give it tight! Mac, what is that? Jimmy! I caught it! Oh, this he chicken's actually pretty chill. Chicken? This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Eat put it. it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian! No, Brian! What did you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap. What, so. he's not gonna eat him? And by the time Brian oh. had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less oh. hot outside, which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that What's island the behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counter- You know what's really fucking dumb? If they were to have killed that chicken and eaten it, Mr. Beast would have been quote unquote canceled on Twitter. It's like, bro, how do you think we get our food? Like, these people are such pussies these days, it's fucking insane. It's like, bro, how do you think we get cows? How do you think we get chicken nuggets? Like, people forget where the fuck this food comes from, bro. It's actually insane. They're intuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Man, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at all those fish. Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming from right the tree. Oh, yeah, from the chicken nugget oh, tree. We're almost there. They come from the chicken nugget tree, probably. <laughs> look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Woo! Look at this. We got water splashing on both sides. These are extra slippery rocks. Going up now? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is crazy. This looks so cool. We did it. I don't know why we did it, but we did it. Wow, dude. How do we get off this? Damn, yeah, bro, to they went to a rock. I was jumping. I'm not jumping. During our Insane. last few hours of sunlight, I felt a couple raindrops. We noticed the storm approaching us on the horizon. When we got on the island, the forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over the there. The forecast fucking oh, lied. Oh, Fix the hut. Oh, no. There's rain coming. Protect our stuff. Get as many palm leaves as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst part about this is the unknown. It's so dark, you can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is, later in this video, we won't be so lucky. I just wanna go home. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat, yet again, a bag meal. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say we've got a solution. Chicken! You're not, it's All not right, gonna work, bro. This is as bro. far as I go. Have fun. There's oh, no God. way these dudes. Oh, there's no way fish? these dudes you catch have to fish. Go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't gonna be in this light blue water. They're gonna be in the dark blue water out there. Nah, so, there's no shot. Really they're not gonna get idea, nothing. Really bad one. Like really they're, really getting, bad they're getting fucked. The all. There's no way. Fishing is actually so hard. Mac is going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore. For us oh. to eat. Okay, no, he might. He might. He might. He might. I also brought around 500 feet of rope that they're tied to. So if at any point they need help, we'll just yank them in. Right, Chandler? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you doing okay? Huh? Is 
Mac literally just pulling them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. Because that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. Now we have no rope, and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. They unroped them? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. No, I wouldn't start fishing yet. He's in the water. Guys! Your rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see But they're going to die. Oh, yeah. We have the rope. Hey! Oh, you got something? Nah, yeah. no shot. Oh. Fuck me, do that! And after two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Uh oh. Is this fun to eat? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish in the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly good, it was Insane. time to eat something a whole lot better. Insane. S'mores. S'mores. First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Oh, as a man. Nah, bro, I'm and broken, bro. Oh, Mac! Dude, <laughs> dude, you know what we should watch on stream? We should watch a whole season of Survivor. Dude, that's one of my favorite shows of all time. I feel like that would be so much fucking fun, bro. What are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Oh. You take the Feastable chocolate. Like Will Neff? Like exactly that. like Will Neff. Look at that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables bar. People are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, it's we're doing better. our best to restock it as fast as It's actually as good. You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. No, you, you have, clock but work, we, we lay can down lie. to go to bed, and it starts raining. Why is it that whenever we do survival videos, it literally... That's what we should do. If we do a subathon, we should just do entire days of just watching Survivor, bro. That would be so much fucking fun, bro. Like, that would be, like, weeks worth of content. Fuck, that would be sick. It rains when we're trying to sleep. I'd say that was a very successful day four. Yeah, I agree. You caught a chicken. I caught a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. Yeah. Hell's Kitchen was fun. Dude, I know. That shit was such good content. I just woke up. I have no idea what day it is. Stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree. Disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac, you cannot eat that. You can't stop me. No. Uh oh. Run away, go! Jimmy, run away! Go! Get out of here! <laughs> yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend! No, Pussy. he's not, he's food! Oh, uh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure Pussies, to the ruins. Bro. All right. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. Is it feasible? That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, it's kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. Oh, yeah. Follow me, gang. Yeah, I'm thinking about you, bro. For a second, I thought this was. Appreciate you. Forgot we haven't even. Reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain, I'm gonna tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere in the world. We'll be up here. Yeah, you keep talking about that, Jim. Hey, wait up for me. We're going all the way up there. Western Union also has a free website and app that's simple and secure. So even my oh grandma my can use God. it. Even your grandma, Mac. <laughs> and before I got here, I used Western Union to pay the boat. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be careful. Here, give me a second, Western Union. I also use Western Union <laughs> so to pay the boat Union. guy that dropped me off on this oh island. My because God. they have been around for 100 years, I know my money got to them, even though I was in the U.S. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is that, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. Oh, yeah. What the heck? That's awesome. I'm not gonna be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with the rain. Yeah, you're being out. a Debbie Downer. <laughs> hey, you can see Sean from here. Dude, he's building the shelter. Yo, Sean's making okay. us dinner. Yeah. Thank you for the raid, brother man. I can see you. Thank you for the raid, brother man. You heard it. Keep going. Appreciate Even you. if you're a nerd. Hey, uh, so we need to stop this whole bullshit where you're just throwing out the word genuinely and it don't even make any sense at this point. 
Like you, you are just you are just throwing around around the world genuinely for plays that just don't it don't even make any sense anymore. Like you become like a Pokemon genuinely, genuinely. What did I even do? I'm just saying, man. We gotta we gotta pull back on the genuinely. We gotta pull we gotta pull it back. You're, it's becoming your crutch word. You gotta you gotta pull it back genuinely. You are genuinely your fault. Genuinely nuclear. Genuinely, genuinely respectfully nuclear. Genuinely just pull pull it back a little bit. Uh, yo, by the way, boys. Um. In case you have not seen, in case you have not seen, uh, we have um, some nuclear drama, nu- nuclear drama uh, happening very soon uh, that you guys are going to become aware of. Uh, we started a new Clips channel. It's called More Tech Tone. In one day, we have gotten to 3,000 subscribers. In one day. Uh, we have uploaded 11 videos. And one day, and uh, just so you guys know, we have stolen. This is your fourth clip channel? No, it's only my second, actually. Fun fact. Uh, we have stolen Mr. Pokey's editors. And here's the thing. You will be hearing the response and story of how that happened. That will be going up. That will be going up later today. So. You will hear the story from what I've been told, the horror story of uh, what has happened. Uh, yo, Mods, if you guys want to do me a favor, like we're pretty close. Uh, this is a video of me fucking lying. Uh, what's my favorite one that I really like? Oh, yeah, trying to be family friendly. Come all over my cookie kingdom. <laughs> I love it, dude. What's my favorite one? There's so many good clips here, bro. Oh, this is a great one. Oh, that yeah, 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 okay. Uh, if any of you guys, guys want to go... Uh, Subscribe to the new Clips channel. Would greatly appreciate if you want to go here, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And uh, also, yo, mod, shout out Mr. Pokey's channel. Go give him a follow. Great dude. Goes live before me. Ends the moment I go live. It's a great, great, great symbiotic relationship. It's very, very, very good. Uh, new Clips channel. Go subscribe. Uh, please go, go, go. And mods, can you pin my message, please? Can you pin my message? Uh, it would be great if you guys were to go subscribe. The goal for today is to get 3,000 subs. The goal for today is to get 3,000 subs. It's very close, very doable. Hey, boys, we did it. (laughs) Hey, boys, we did it. Hey, boys, we did it. The next goal, 4,000. I have not promoted, I have not promoted this channel at all on YouTube or Twitter yet or Discord. Uh, But once I do, I know we're going to receive a large influx of viewers. So what I'm trying to do right now is is if you guys have a second, I would love for you guys to go watch all of the clips and I'm reading all of the comments to see how I can make it better. And then once all of my Twitch boys are good with it, uh, we'll change it. And then once we're all happy, then we'll talk about that shit on the YouTube and the Twitter. We'll be great. Wait, what is this? What is this lie meter? I'm not working for free. Well, I'm just saying like, you might as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what do you mean? There's something about the way you look in my eyes. <sighs> something about the way you look in my eyes. Something about the way you look in my eyes Like a starry night you light up my sky You're leaning closer and my heart starts to pound I heard you sigh you know I love that sound He's bouncing on my booty cheeks I love the way he rides I can hardly breathe when he's bumping deep inside I kiss him on his neck, then he kisses on my pussy Call him daddy while I holler, man, that boy's so damn good looking (laughs) 
I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Uh, yeah, anyways, boys. Anyways, boys. Uh, if you guys want to go uh, subscribe. 3.1K! <laughs> Killing it! Killing it! We're flying. Most importantly, all the we need all of these videos. We need all of these videos to get above 1K. We do. And then what we need, once everything is primed, once everything is ready, we need one video to hit the algorithm. And once we hit the algorithm, we're golden. Right now, we have a dedicated, uh, we have dedicated community members all here. We have to give people a reason to go to this channel. So I'll probably start making exclusive content for this channel. Uh, and that's what we'll do. Because I want a fucking clips channel. Because you want to know fucking why? You want to know? You want to know what's driving me fucking nuts? We're gonna go to MTash Clips. Can you guys guess what MTash's most viewed clip has been? My clip with fifty three thousand views. Which is his most viewed clip in over two weeks, and the only thing that beat it was literal leaks from Honkai Star Rail. So, like, what the fuck? Trial. Oh, and it's literally no, a clip no, no. from oh, my she, channel. I think. Yeah. I think she's bad. Um, no, I'm gonna skip. It's, it's, it's literally, it's literally a clip from my channel, and everybody gets more views than me when they just post me on their channel. It's like, your reaction is too good, but why do people want to watch them on other people's channel and not mine? Like, uh, he's... A, he did it better. He's literally just posting my clip. Oh my god! It, it's it, guys. It's literally just a clip from my channel. Oh my god! We like you. We just don't want to support you. You know. Kingdom drive at the speed on tech tour. Let Mr. Editor here get you up to speed on Tectone Cookie Run lore. One day, as Tectone was playing Cookie Run, as usual, his mental illness suddenly went into maximum overdrive and thus created the hit song. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Oh, it's just not fair. All right, anyways, let's finish up this video. Let's beat this up. The Honkai Star Wars story quest. Oh. oh, he's waving. Is it gonna be dark when we go back? Hold up, hold up. It's straightforward. Maybe people don't want to watch the full vid. No, bro, 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 you fucking moron. It is not even from a video. It's just a clip from my Twitch that he put on his YouTube. Something about the way you look in my <sighs> What is happening, bro? What is that? It is literally just... Okay, anyways. Come this path? Yeah. How are we gonna see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's the way you're looking mad. Oh, oh, you good? good? I'm alive. <laughs> see that right over there? Boys, come on. Come over here. Welcome to the ruins. Whoa. This is actually sick, dude. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Why? Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> What do you think's in here? Pizza? Water. You knew that we were gonna run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com. Oh my god! Now I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> <laughs> well, this picture of you losing 800 grand. Now here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? 
Why go You'll see it one second. Don't worry. Now, I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing $1.5 million. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're going to give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your final shot. You're going to give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was, bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. <laughs> There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down he again. He gets to this go again? This building is almost a century old. Imagine building this 100 years Mac ago just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore. If he loses again. Oh, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there? The cactus does not crawl up there, Jimmy. It doesn't have legs. Oh my God. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy, dude. Look how the trees like wrap around the Whoa. freaking rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth I actually think Mac is a very good addition to the Mr. Beast crew. And I think they should just keep him in like multiple videos, like upcoming. He reminds me of like old Mr. Beast. <laughs> I, I think he's a really good addition. No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Aww. Thank you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. That would be sick. Boys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. Getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain through all these woods in the dark. This is oh, yeah, they won't. We'll just die. at night. Ow. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating Ooh. in the middle of a forest. Okay, which direction is it? Is it this way or that oh. way? Oh! Do they die in this things. video? There's this right here. And then Yo, there's this Chad, one type one if you think they die in this video. Like, are you I sure, bro? This or is that it? It's definitely not to follow me. Guys, I will pick a random direction. Wait, no, no, I, I think no, they're dead for left. sure. They no, have to be dead. Right 100%. Here. Oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Maybe it's this way. Which way are we going? I told you we should play. No, they died. They die 100%. How sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this so way. So wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining! Okay, Wait, why don't we switch. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. It oh, is bro, sweat. they're so I really fucked. don't think we came up with something to steep. <laughs> oh, I almost <laughs> faced one. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh what that is the 10, fuck? Of death apple tree Why not just we're close. kill and the regardless tree? Regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. some sand. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. Sean shoots them all. Oh my god, you Frank. scared me. We made it! Yeah, we're back. I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I, I don't appreciate believe it. it. You couldn't sneak up on shot, I don't believe it. Wow, it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. Wow, they didn't die. Because when you're in the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. Wow. That is so cool. But unexpectedly. Around the corner was something we've been fearing this entire challenge. The Alaskan bullworm. Feel that? Guys, bad news. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Why don't I just drink it? Could bring our structure down. And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god. We are absolutely screwed. Well, I'm just Why don't they just drink the water? Destroyed and pummeled by rain. They put a straw in it. After two hours of rain, a damaged shelter and soaking wet beds. There was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. It's raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these showers. Why so does it seem kind of fun? Hopefully it just passed. Am I psychotic? And even though this was an all-time low, our only option was to wait this thing out. 
Like, am I, am I not just that seemed kind of fun? I'm not gonna lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold, uh, ever. What do you want to do today, Nolan? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> this place sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm oh, sick damn. I'm, I'm tired. Why don't they go to McDonald's? At this point, it's the down. island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. Oh There's my only so God. much bags oh, no. you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun before you start to just feel terrible. And I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear and that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Want to look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, that's a treat. Hand. And with the help of Bro, this that looks like, like diarrhea. we were beginning to return back to normal. Oh, yeah. Not cap. Dude, That's gotta be cat. There's no shot. That's gotta be cat. Exactly. We were gonna survive day six yeah. by having fun with each other. <laughs> it's so awesome. And I began to realize, oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of suffering, why we pick well. the heaviest seat in existence? This whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun, cheers, boys, and adventure. We did it. <laughs> well. Moments like these are hard to find. How old is Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast age. He's 25? Oh, my, I hate this fucking dude. Oh, my God. Hey, boys, if you don't have a billionaire, like, if you're not a billionaire by 25, you're a fucking failure. Remember that. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times as much as we will the good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge Yo, finally Jeff. coming to an end... We're celebrating Ooh, bro, our day six of our challenge bender. finally coming to an end. We're celebrating what our the final fuck? night with a massive fire. We're, just kind of We're burning, burning Chris so alive. Yeah, it's a little too big. When we wake up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven. So why didn't they um why didn't they invite Chris to the seven day stranded on an island challenge? Uh is it because Mr. Beast is now transphobic? Uh, like, what the hell? Like, is this like, is this like a transphobic video now? Or like, where's Chris? Like, what is going on? Yeah, I mean, they didn't invite him. So they, they gotta be, they gotta be transphobic now. <clears throat> Fun fact, there's a tree that shoots its seed capsules at 250 kilometers per hour. That's not a, that's not a tree, brother. That's a gun. Oh, get me out of here. We broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of yep. you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. Nah, it was actually ass. Uh, yeah, she was ass. What's this? Mr. Pokey got boot healed? For everyone called a most and booty hopeful. He's bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he Oh <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's that's right. Deserved. 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 What's this? Also, I am not in Cookie Run Kingdom, but I play Cookie Run Kingdom, so I want to be in it so badly. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard that here. Cookie Run Kingdom, hire her. Wait. Who is that? Who is that? So I am not in Cookie Run Kingdom, but I play Cookie Run Kingdom, so I want to be in it so badly. Who is that? That's the VA of Acheron? What is her name on Twitter? What is her name on Twitter? Allegra Clark? Uh, what's the Twitter handle? This one? <sighs> this this one, right? Uh, uh. Okay, um, um, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
I love this post. <laughs> World's most mentally ill streamer. Hey, uh, Haughty Bacon. If not me, then who? If not me, then who? Check this cute clip of what? Hi. I'm touching the screen. Open up. Open up the window. It's cold in here. Please. Yosha. Yosha. I'm giving you head pots. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. My heart grew three sizes. It went from yeah, my dick grew three sizes inside of your mom's asshole, pussy. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Annoying fucking rat. Jesus. Uh -uh. All right. Is he Mouse's new model? No. Nor do I care. <clears throat> All right. Let's play some goddamn video games. Let's play some fucking video games. Hi, Bomb Bomb. Finally, you started? What? What, bro? Boys, boys, boys. Boys, we are... We are finishing the story today. We are finishing the story today. <laughs> Guys, we're... I, <laughs> we are! We are. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We, uh... Just like... Mm. Um, a friend I knew choked on a nut and died. Yeah. I'm kidding. It's not, that's not actually what happened, okay? That's not actually what happened. <laughs> Shit! Okay, no. No, no, no. Okay, um... How do I make that sound better? Guys, what do I say? What do I say to fix that? <laughs> okay, um... I just like not. Okay, anyways. Boys, we're gonna stream to YouTube real quick. We're gonna stream to YouTube. But we need to find a way to make this not my thumbnail. So, we're gonna have to figure this out. All right, Chad, good morning. Uh, how do I do that? Content. Live. How do you do this, man? Why is it like, dude, it's so hard. How do you do this? All right, Chad, good morning. It's not, okay, what do I press create? Go live. Okay. Noise. So I press create, go live. Okay. This one we don't want. Okay. And then maybe I do. <laughs> Finishing Honkai Star Rail main quest. Drama gaming reacting. Okay. Right. Edit. And then how do I change the thumbnail? How do you change the thumbnail? Change it after you go live? Well, I need a thumbnail to put. Um, I need a fucking thumbnail. Uh, what if I do... What's like a good thumbnail? Um, use an old thumbnail? No. <laughs> uh... Uh, um, all right, check. All right, check. Good morning. All right, what if I do, um, that one? 
Dash gotta be the one. Oh, fuck, it has the timestamp in it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. What if I do this? That's a good one. That's a good one. That's got to be a good thumbnail. That that is that has to be a good thumbnail. All right, so this shit in downloads. Okay. And then all right. So, oh my god, I do this every time I go live on YouTube. Okay. So now So now I'm probably live on YouTube, right? I press the go live button. Dude, why am I such an idiot, bro? Oh, I, I don't even know how to tell if I'm live or not. Oh, apparently I'm I am such live. an idiot. And it says giveaway in the thumbnail again. Son of a bitch. Nice. How do I fix that? Okay, edit video. Okay, that 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 is the thing that's not happening. Customization. Can I not change the thumbnail? Bro! How do you change it? What the? Oh. Change. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Save. 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 Okay, we figured it out. We figured, we figured it out. We figured it out. Okay. All right. This is good. This is good. Okay. And so now, so now there's probably people in YouTube chat. And there are. Yo, there's yes. probably. Yo, YouTube. YouTube chatters, bro. What up? Good fucking morning. Good motherfucking morning, boys. Good fucking morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. What up, homies? Hey, 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 we finishing, we finishing the 2.1 quest today, man. But this time, this time for real. Yo, mods, can you copy paste me whatever the pin comment is in this chat right here? Yo, good morning. Lie meter? No, 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 no. We're, we're, what we're actually doing it. But we're, but we're actually doing it. We're, we're actually doing it today, though. We're actually doing it today. On, on my life. Okay, but unless something crazy comes up. Uh, unless unless something unless something diabolical comes up, but yo, good morning. Stop stalling. We're literally not. We're just we're just easing our way in. We like saying hi to the YouTube frogs, because then because then once once I get into the story, then you guys get nervous and you don't know what to say, and you kind of sit there and you twiddle your thumbs, and then you say, "Hey man, this techno guy, he's a fucking retard." <laughs> and then I'm like, "What what is going on?" Uh, and I'm just like, "Hey guys, why don't we just we're gonna do it." Okay, we're we're gonna do it. It's gonna be good. Don't put cap. We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be good. We're 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 gonna beat the main story. Lamau facts? No, that's not facts. Detect don't beat Sekiro. How the fuck do you even know? How does he know? How does the YouTube chatter know? Like what the fuck? Uh, next gotcha podcast? Yeah, soon. We're gonna do one soon. Dude, low key, I might just do one tomorrow. No, I won't because I have the AFK journey thing tomorrow. No, I won't. I'll do it the day after that. I'll probably do, I'll probably do a gotcha cast in two days. We'll see how that shit goes. <laughs> yeah. Mod said they needed another moderator on YouTube. Okay, who wants to be moderator? Yo, which one of my mods from Twitch wants to go over to YouTube mod? Because I, I don't know how to trust these guys. I'll be real. I, I don't know how to trust these YouTube frogs. I don't know any of them yet. Okay, homeboy's name is in a different language. I don't even know if he knows what I'm saying right now. Sekiro go to true. Me, Emark, I'm good. Okay. Does anybody want to double mod? You uploaded two videos about Sekiro and you saw them? That's based, bro. Nice. Your head's so shiny. Yeah, I know. Will you play Cookie Run Kingdom today? <laughs> Do you care? <laughs> it's only me and Valen? Yeah, but I mean, YouTube chat, they don't do anything wrong. They, they, they don't do anything wrong, but they're nice. They're nice. And there's only like 30 of them. Look, look, look. YouTube chat, they can't even spam. They can't even spam. Like, watch watch how fast this chat can go. Like, they go slow, bro. They're slow over here. They can't even spam this emote at warp speed. They're slow. Okay, they're they're good. They're fine. All right? They're they're all they're all good. 
See, look, they haven't even got onto it yet. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, uh, wait a minute. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? Uh, all right, maybe, okay, maybe they're a little quick. Maybe they're a little quick, maybe they're a little quick. Yeah, they gotta charge up. They gotta charge up. Okay, I get that, I get that, I get that, I get that, I get that. Actually, wait, how are they, fa wait, how is my YouTube chat faster than my Twitch chat? Nah, that's impossible. I have one of the fastest fucking chats in all of Twitch. There's no way my YouTube chat is faster. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. All right. Okay, now we're getting to the point where my Twitch is fucking flying now. Okay, my Twitch is fucking flying now. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Yeah, I knew that. I, they wouldn't take. They wouldn't take. Uh, they wouldn't take kindly to that. All right. Let's uh. Let's cuddle up. Let's buckle in. YouTube chat. I want to let you guys know. Uh, you're already on YouTube. You already are on the chat. If you want to quickly go to my new Clips channel, give it a subscribe. We started a new channel yesterday. We already got 3,000 subs. I would love for you guys to go there. Give it a sub. Watch all the clips. Would be fucking amazing. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy the new Clips channel. The goal for today is to... Well, the goal was already 3K. We're going to try to hit 4K today. We'll see how it goes. Should be good, but uh, just know that I appreciate y'all being here. Let's beat the damn story quest now, okay? And we'll we'll do cookie run. Don't worry, guys. We'll 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 do some cookie run too, okay? Let's fucking get into it. Uh, good God, bro. Streams are so nice. You can just boot up a fucking video game and just stop giving a fuck. God damn, man, dude. I know people think React content's lazy, but it is so much harder than just fucking pulling up a video game, playing Japanese weeb music, and not saying shit. Holy fuck, it's so much. It's so much harder. Like, I swear to God, 90% of Honkai Star Rail streams can be described by that. The streamer not talking, they're playing the game, and then just blasting anime openings. Like, bro, you know 50 streamers like that. Let's just be, let's just, let's just be, let's just keep it 100, bro. Let's just keep it 100. Okay, hey, hey, am I lying? Am, am I lying? Come on. And they call that shit hard content. Yeah, fucking right, bro. Hmm. Your stream is just stalling. No, eventually you realize the stalling is the stream. I'm not just stalling. The stalling is the best part. Uh, we go, we go this way. Yeah, give me that. Hey, anybody else still have no idea what the fuck this map is and what we're doing here? Three, two, one. Okay. So, uh, we'll max it. What? What? What the fuck is that, dude? Well, we got fucking scammed. All right, what if I do my uh, remote dice and I roll it too? What does that do? Does that do anything crazy? Okay. Who is the best person to come out with scientific questions? Dr. Ratio. Experimental design, Ron May. Collect and analyze data, Topaz. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go again. Five. Fuck. Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? Random score. High roll. <sighs> this game is so fucking easy, bro. Good God. Okay. Winner. Max roll. We'll go again. Go again. Fuck it. It's fine. Two? What does it mean if I land on my own house, though? Does that do anything? Oh, stop making me do these, man. This shit fucking blows. What? Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Nah. Nah, that's cap. Bro, what the fuck is that? 
That's so cap, bro. High roll. Man, fuck. Why is today the worst day of my life? Let me go. Let me out. Three, one, two, three. Okay, what did I get? Listen while they're meowing. Oh, don't make me answer these fucking questions, man. Bro, y'all complain about the stream stalling, man? That's all this game is. They make a game about rolling a dice 15 times take you half an hour. And then you and you look at this shit and you eat it up. Then I do the same thing and y'all call me a war criminal. Go again. It's a personality quiz? I already know I'm a piece of shit. I don't need the game to tell me. <laughs> I, I already know that. Oh, I live in the golden house. What does that mean? Oh, cakey. Okay, wait, so I can land and get 560% current revenue. Is there any giga thing I should land on? One, two, three, four, five. What if I remote dice five and I go to the gold thing? What then? Revenue? Okay. Winner? Holy shit! $360 million. Okay, then I go again. One, two, three. Yep, that's mine now. Yep, that's mine now. Yep. One, two, three, four. Big money. Uh. I'll take an ordinary dice. Go again. That does go up, go again. I roll. Good. Hey, yo, anybody else uh, still not sure why they're earning all this money? Or am, I, or am I the only motherfucker who has no idea why why I'm trying to get all this money? But I see numbers go up, and that makes my brain feel good. We're, we're earning this for Pom Pom? Uh oh. I'm a winner! $86 million? Oh my god! Easy. Hey, good shit, boys. Good shit. Is Agbate Doro drama guy? What is this? To the lady that coughed in my face, I hate you, I feel like shit, thanks. Isn't that the guy who says that Chinese people can't be racist because they're a minority? <laughs> oh man, that shit was so funny. And that shit, will, that shit will never not be funny. Don't forget the new event. I don't think I can actually do that shit yet. I, I think I need to... um. I think I need to uh, beat the main story quest before I'm allowed to do that. Yo, Lakari! What up, dog? All right, we're good here. We get two, or we get uh, 10 more summons whenever the month resets. And then let's go to... Ooh, these mir miraculously cleared themselves. Very cool. All right, we're ready for another day of... What shit artifacts is Tectone getting today? Spoiler alert, we will be getting nothing. We will be getting fucking nothing. We are going to be getting shit on and we are going to smile about it. We will be getting fuck all. Time to say bye. Absolutely fuck all. Do we know what is it? Stell Depresso? I wait for the depart. <laughs> that is so cute. What the fuck? Is that That's actually trending. Can you guys see it or no? Time to say bye. Boom. Open the anomaly thing? No? Fuck. Enable. 
What? Let me use it. Good. All right, should be up in a second. That is so cute. All right, we get nothing. We get nothing. Nice. 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 The Honkai Star Rail never change. Yep. Sexy mode. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. It too shall fall. Time to go again. Boom. Why can't we have good things? Oh, YouTube chat. Oh, YouTube chat. I know. I'm sorry. Well, one day YouTube will get it. One day YouTube will get it. Oh, I feel so bad for him, bro. Oh, I feel so bad. All right. Blow him up. Garbage and garbage. Fun. I weep for the departed. No, that's not what she says. She says. She says. Some a little bit different. She says, and I quote, I weep for the retarded. It too shall fall. It too shall fall. Uh, Time to say bye. Get him. That is gonna think that adventuring is kind of good for Akron. Uh, I don't give a fuck. You gotta understand, man. Like, I was able to pass on Topaz, and that's one of the hottest characters in the entire fucking game. I weep for the departed. There's just no way. There's just no way that I'm gonna be able to. Uh, I, I, I know a lot of people like Adventurine. I, I'm just not one of them, guys. Bro, everything we got today was straight ass. You gonna give a fuck after the story quest? I just don't think I can, man. His voice just takes me the fuck out of it. And, and I want to make this very clear. I'm not saying the voice actor's bad. I'm not saying that at all. I think the voice actor was given directions and he followed them to a T. But for me, it just makes no sense for the character to talk like that. It just, it, it cause like in Japanese, it sounds fine. In Chinese, it sounds fine. In Korean, it sounds fine. But I think the English direction for the voice just makes no fucking sense for, for what I think the character should sound like. Personally. But like, for real, like, I, I, I just... Like, is he supposed to be that zesty? Because, like, the, the way that his English voice sounds is what, like, a bunch of depressed middle-aged white men got into a room and they said, Hey, what does a gay guy sound like? And then they went on to TikTok and Googled stereotypical gay voice, and then they made him have that voice. Like, it just, nobody on Earth sounds like that. At all. Like, no one on Earth talks like that. And it just takes me out of it. Like, it, it makes no sense to me. I know, like, three people that do. Uh, do they use TikTok a lot? I feel like his zesty voice fits his person. I'm a, I think the English voice actor did a good job. No, I think the English voice actor did a great job. I mean, to be honest, it's not really... It's not really up to the voice actor. You gotta understand this, right? It's not really up to the voice actor to choose what they sound like. It's not. They are given direction. They follow what the voice direction... Or uh, what the voice... Uh, uh, the, the voice director artist uh, tells them to do. And then they execute on it. Right? So the, the fault of a, someone's voice actor is never the voice actor's fault. It's only the direction they were given and they follow it. Right? Why are you running around? Oh, because I, when, I, when I talk, when I talk, I like to run around. Sorry. It's an old habit of mine. It's like when I want to play Genshin Impact, hit video game Genshin Impact, turn based, or wait, uh, single player RPG, open world. Uh, I would jump around the ceiling of Inazuma. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, it's like subway surfers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claim all? No. <laughs> because because if I press claim all, then my chat won't spam claim all. You know what I'm saying? I've met a few guys that talk like adventuring. Well, no. But I, but I haven't. Right? I haven't. And even more so, like... His JP, like for example, Jing Liu's EN and JP feel like the same character. Adventuring's JP and EN feels like different characters. 
Like, and I feel like when you're voice acting and when the voice of a character sounds different than the intentions of a character, it makes no sense for me. Same for Silverwolf? Nah, I feel like Silverwolf... I mean, I do think Silverwolf sounds better in JP, but I feel like Silverwolf and EN and JP have the same personality. I, I don't think... I don't think, uh, like, the delivery of the emotional lines for uh, Adventuring is the same in JP as in EN. Like, for example, like, for me, JP Adventuring feels, like, very conniving, right? But for EN, he feels, like, very playful and, like, bratty. For me, right? I, I can't speak on how you hear it. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I, I can tell you 50 different words. You know, I mean, you can give people a compliment these days and they can take it as disrespect. But the way that I hear it, for me, right? It just, it just yeah, he feels like bratty and zesty in EN. And then in JP, he just feels like, you know, conniving. You will get it why in the story? I mean, right now I got to the part where apparently he's like in a battle royale. All right, cool. He doesn't seem playful. Sounds like an evil conniving. Hold up. He doesn't sound evil conniving bitch to me. You just don't like him because he's a dude. So let me get this right. I don't like him because he's a dude. Yet Luocha, Dr. Ratio, Sampo are some of my favorite characters. And Welt is one of my favorite characters. Like, I feel like the excuse of... He's a dude, so you don't like him. That's just simply not true. Dude, I need to build my wealth. Do I have a good light cone for him? What's uh, what's wealth's best light cone? Oh, yeah, and I'm also pulling for Boot Hill. Like, what are you fucking waffling about? Uh, what do you think of Boot Hill's voice? I think Boot Hill's voice is fucking amazing. What does bro use? He wants Pioneer Diver of the Dead Waters. This could actually work. Because I have a lot of Pioneer of the Dead Waters that are just simply not good on Akron, but they might be good on Welt. So he wants speed until breakpoint, which is what? 134? And then EHR until recommended. Okay, to 50 to 67%. Then crit rate, then crit damage, then attack. 134? Okay, that's not bad. Boot Hill's so cool. Oh yeah, Boot Hill might be one of my favorite characters. The, the only problem is... Actually, there's no problem. I need a physical DPS. I'm going to get him. Yeah, we're, we're getting Boot Hill 1 million percent. We're, we're skipping adventuring. It's going to be the easiest skip of our fucking life. Like, legit, bro. I'm not even... It's not, I'm not even going to fucking care. Like, bro. Bro, first of all, his gameplay, so stupid. Like, oh, wow, he gives a shield. Wow, now you can't die. Okay, fuck it. You know what's way cooler than not dying? Doing a million damage. But we're getting Boot Hill. And then after Boot Hill, the next character we'll be pulling for will be... Rise up, welcome to my world. Change your definition. Whoa, but I, whoa. <laughs> when I get when I get Robin, bro, that is gonna be insane. Because the copy pastas in my chat are going to go nuts. They are going to go nuts, dude. <clears throat> Oh, I wonder who that is? Oh, yeah, I know, man. I actually cannot wait. All right, so we need Glamoth. Play Boot Hill's theme song. It's so good. I know, man. I know. He's riding on my booty cheeks a little way he rides. When I come deep inside. Wait, why the fuck? Does Welt need break effect or no? Uh, Then do we have any more Dread Waters? We have attack rate damage, break effect. No, 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 kinda. Okay, affected rate, affected rate, break effect. Crit damage, affected rate, attack. If this hits speed, that's pretty insane. Ooh, poggers, okay. 
Uh, so we're gonna need a lot of speed. And I have a feeling we probably don't have any of those. Crit damage with crit rate and attack is pretty insane. But I don't think we're going to have the subs to actually run something like that. Attack percent speed with crit rate and break effect. That actually might be usable. I wonder what that rolls into. Effect rows. Does this hit speed ever? No, it hits the worst one, actually. Okay. And then, do we hit speed on any of these? We do have speed, attack, crit damage, and break effect on these. Which can be pretty good. Okay. Attack or crit damage? Nice. Attack or crit damage? Wow, that's garbage. Okay. Crit damage? Okay. Okay. So these could be these could be used on my wealth. Cause I would I would like to build my wealth. Cause I fucking love this character and I think he'd be so much fun. Uh let me see what his light cone needs. We're gonna do the story quest after I fuck around with wealth for a little bit longer. Uh best light cone is incessant rain. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, Silver Wolf? Fuck that. Good night sleep well is better? Only at S5? Yeah, but it's still really good, right? I'm wondering if I should run it with um Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat. Do we think that do we think Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat would be better on um would be better on Welt if I was running with Acheron. For the extra debuff. No, just use Payload with Acheron. No, but but what if but what if I wanted? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if I just wanted to run that? They do not stack on the same turn. Give that to Pela. She's on the team. Wait, so Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat is better on Pela? When running with Akron? Okay, fuck yeah. All right, so then uh, Pela gets the new light cone. Okay. Yeah, even at E1? Okay, well, I have this shit at E3. Okay. Okay. And then uh, for Welt's Light Cone, what do we want then? Do we want Good Night Sleep Well or do we want to run the, um, the Silver Wolf Light Cone? Would we, would we want to run uh, before the tutorial mission starts or unequipped? Or am I gay? Uh, do, would we want to run this on Welt or no? Affect it right by 40%? We just want, we want Good Night Sleep Well? Okay, we'll run Good Night Sleep Well on Welt. Because, dude, 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 finally using a fucking welt would be insane. And this way all these dumb fucks can stop saying, Oh, you don't like him because he's a dude. Like, literally, welt is, like, the coolest character in the whole fucking game. I wonder how high I can ascend them. Yesteryear isn't all that returned. Hmm. How high can we get him? We can go again? Oh, level 50. Okay. Well, I know what we're working towards now. We work towards a welt. We have a very good light cone. Do you like Sunday or Robin more? Uh, Sunday. Sunday is so fucking cool. Uh, okay. And then, so we want to run him on Glamoth. Uh, Glamoth what? Glamoth, imaginary damage or attack percent. Okay. That is probably doable. This piece is fucking trash. This piece could be good with the amount of affected rate I have. Uh, do we have any more claim off? Physical damage, attack, pretty bad. Ooh, this one could be good. 
That can be good if we hit these two over and over again. Okay. Uh, this one could be good if... No. This one could be good if I rolled speed. Oh my god! Yo, what the fuck? Hold up, does this hit speed? Does that hit speed? Top two. Oh! Yo! Yo! Top two? Top two? Break effect gotta be good. It gotta be good for something. It, it legit has to be good for something. Top two. Top two, top two. Break event gotta be good on something. It it has gotta be okay. It is get it has gotta be good. It's legit gotta be good. Alright, then we need more speed. We have a really bad attack rope. Uh do we have any more Glamoth? Yo, attack percent speed with crit damage and break effect? That's gotta be good. Wait, do we want attack rope or do we want energy recharge rope? We want attack rope. Okay. Uh, then we can go speed. Do we hit speed here? Speed. Crit damage gotta be good. Okay, we'll equip that shit. Okay. So we have a set. And then we have 130 speed. We're about to have the world's worst. We're about to have the world's worst. Well, it depends if you're using them on sustain or DPS. Uh, I'd want to use them uh, for sustain. And like slowing the enemies down over and over and over and over again. Is the plan. ER rope's better for support wall. ERR. Okay. Uh, do we have any energy regeneration rope on Glamoth that have speed? Attack, crit damage. Can I get him as speed? Ooh. For sustain, well, Von Wack is better. Bro, how can I ask how a character's build and get 80 different fucking builds for one character? Can I hit speed? Speed. Damn. What if I just hit energy regen? Ooh. Okay, so all my ropes are fucking terrible. Uh, this is a sad reality. This is a sad reality. Here's the best thing. I don't even know what the fuck Von Wack is. I swear to God, one of y'all just made that shit up just to fuck with my brain. Like, am I nuts? Sustain wealth needs energy? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. Just use support planner? Next to Glamoth rope? Oh, this fucking thing? Well, this one's pretty good. Wait, this one's pretty good. Am I crazy? Okay, well, hold up. Let's just hit the top three. Okay, that's good. Hit the top three. Okay, well, we got... Hey, now we can resist shit. That's got to be good. Wait, so all of these are marked to throw away? Who the fuck? When am I accounted that I can throw these away? Okay, are you going to watch your account audit today? No. <laughs> I mean, I could. That might be funny. Well, now we are never, we are never getting affected by shit. Okay, nice. All right, so we'll equip that. All right, and then do we have a Von Wack? What does the Von Wack thing look like? What did it look like? Is it this one? It do. Okay. I'm going to need this shit to hit speed. Okay. Yo! I just have that? I just have that for fun? 
Dude, that's just, that's just on my account? I didn't remember getting that. All right. Well, we just have that shit for fun, I guess. Okay, fucking nice, brother man. And then I'll, I'll max this because fucking why not? Oh, yeah, I used to use that shit on Ting Yun. All right, we'll get, we'll get max real quick. We'll just roll that shit. For fun. Crit rate. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bitch. Nice. Good enough. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we can probably just equip this for fun. Just to have it. And then do we have any speed speed globes? You need more EHR? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I mean, the thing is, I don't know how to get all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we might need it. I don't got it. Um, okay. Uh, EHR, buddy. Bro, convert your four-star relics into relic EXP. You'll level up faster. Didn't he put tutorial on? He's fine on EHR. What is tutorial? Oh, this one? Yeah, I could just do this while I don't have the EHR. I could use this since I don't have the EHR now. Yeah, okay, then cool. Then we hit the cap. Okay. And then wouldn't this just be better for sustain? Since we just want to slow him? Yeah, that's what I thought. And then chat told me I needed a good night's sleep because they're just fucking lying for fun. All right, level that shit up. Oh. Okay, let me... Let me contact the gods real quick. Where are my gods at? Okay. And then can I just buy shit to speed it up a little bit? Is there anything in the store that can... Okay, I can buy these to speed it up a little bit. Because we have so many. We, we might as well. We might as well speed things up a little bit. Get some more mats for fun. Okay. All right. Uh, and then... And then we keep working on... Well... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh, unlock. After spending so much time with everyone. Increased like damage received by 12%? Oh my god. What the fuck? Dude, he's so good. Dude, he's so good. Uh, what do we level up on him? Oh, his alt. His alt got to be important. Yeah, his alt got to be insane. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, now we work on him. I like that. This this gives me direction. I, I Dude, I fucking love Welt. It's so cool. We finally, we finally have enough time to where between now and when adventuring's over, we should have an insane fucking Welt. So we'll, we'll work on him quite a lot. I would like to at least get a set on him. It may not work perfectly. This is a really good imaginary piece. Maybe I have one more piece of imaginary that I can just use. Okay. Yeah, then we have the two piece, two piece. That's probably pretty good. Speed percent set? We could. Yeah, we definitely could. I'm going to level this up to 15, just hit the 134. And then uh, we'll, if we ever replace this, we can just feed it. We'll lose a little bit of experience, but it'll allow us to use water a little bit sooner. Ooh, flat HP, Pog. Yeah, we're really, we're really going to replace that. Uh, speed set. I don't really think I have any extra pieces that are good. 
to be completely honest. Yeah, if I did, they would have been locked. Uh, yeah, my pieces are pretty dog shit for the speed set. As long as you're at 134. kidding right like we're all we're all joking here there's like there's like simply no way i'm at 133 right there's like there's like simply no way what the fuck are these nine speed gloves and why the fuck are they on misha why the fuck are these nine speed gloves on Misha? What the fuck? Those go on Welt. Those go on Welt. Okay. Those go on Welt. Do we have it? anything would it be so bad to run welt on hp genuinely would it be so bad would it be so for support welt for support welt it would be bad how would that be bad hi youtube chat hi youtube chat uh yo youtube chat twitch chat uh, we have a new clips channel called more tech tone. It's at the top of chat If you want to click that link go give that video a like and subscribe to the channel It would mean the fucking world to me It would mean the fucking world to me. It's very good, but you know We're at 3.2 thousand subs in the new channel It would mean the fucking world to me. It's the same shit that we're already doing but more It would mean the world to me Please, you click it. Very good content. I promise you. Real quick, look. Quick light cone. Look. No way. First temple. It's very good content. I promise you. Yo, shot. Check it out. Watch this. Yo, Watch this. Yo, Watch this. Yo. 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 No shot. Nihility. Thirty year old, by the way. Nihility. Thirty year old. Nihility. I love that edit, dude. I love that edit, dude. It's too funny to me, bro. Actually too funny to me, man. Anyways, yeah, would appreciate you guys to go subscribe to uh, more Tech Tone. Would greatly appreciate that shit. Really, really trying to push the old uh, new channel. Why are you looking about to jump out of this uh, screen and jump through? I thought you were 28. Yeah, I was 28 two years ago. Imagine that. Time passes. Uh, so is there a way to look up support build and teams is there a way to look up support wealth hey welt the hair welt is such a cool and chunky now since it's value for if you're permitted to be low damage with and be needing in it is adding a brand background the main sound wave sub deep the main sound i ain't watching all that Okay, so 134 recommended, but then 143 and 160. Okay. Um, but with this, I could run this with effect hit rate body, right? And then I'm at 154 speed. 
Which is just fucking insane. Right? And then I can swap to good night sleep well, no? But this would give me a fuck ton of energy. Wait, what's, my, what's my EHR? My affected rate is now 83%. I want 67, so I'd be overcapped by 16. However, however, however. I feel like that's fine. We could also level this shit. It's okay to have extra? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Good night, people, for DPS one. Yeah, I don't want DPS one. I, I just want to alt spam. I want to alt spam and go a million times. Never gonna die. All right, we'll take that. Uh, then do I have any better hat? I could swap this hat from my Luocha. Although this would be really good on my welt, no? Although maybe I just go a better hat. Why is my Luocha being run on that set? You need 80, 90 EHR to slow bosses? Oh, okay, great. Um, I could run them on this attack set instead. Speed, attack, hit, effect hit rate. What is my Luocha set? Can somebody send me a Luocha guide? I have a feeling my Luocha is shit. Attack is good for Luocha, though. I agree, but I just, I just really want to build my well. Luocha's set should be on the bench. No. Nah. Nah, I shouldn't. Okay, what does he need? He wants Hacker Space and Passerby of Wandering Cloud. Or Four-Piece Musketeer. Okay, so it's actually pretty good on him. Okay. So my Luocha's probably fine. I've never had an issue with a Lu my Luocha ever. Ever. I've never had an issue. So then perhaps I should just not touch him. I mean, maybe... Do, do, we, do, we, think my, do we think my wall is good now? Like, do we think it's fine? Wells is good? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking... Maybe we just commit to speed, though. You know? Like, if we can get well to 160 speed... That could, like, be insane. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's what we do, is we just get him to 160 speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, why even bother going this half-dick well damage when I don't care? And he can just be a skill point generating slot? And make sure they never... Make sure they never fucking move. Because I'm thinking the crit stats we have on him do nothing. Because, like, it's just not going to happen, right? So why don't we just focus on making him a speed slot? And then run him on like a... Uh, why the fuck does my Sparkle have this dog shit hat? And why is that, why is that shit not maxed? I'm going to max this. She needs speed and crit damage, right? Okay. Speed crit damage. Woohoo! Yata this me! Never give up! Nice. Insane. Insane. Nuclear roll. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. What is my sparkle at now uh so my sparkle is on a broken set and now she's at 159 speed if i get her to 160 isn't that like a i never leveled her i thought she was maxed
What do we prioritize here, guys? What do we what do we prioritize here? Skill? Sorry guys, sparkle sparkles then what? Dude was being edge the whole time. Skill alt? Skill talent alt? All right. All right, yeah, I'll I'll be real. Uh I thought I thought I maxed her already. I will keep it a buck. I really thought I maxed her already. Wait, yo, I have so many. Wait, yo, what? Ah. Uh -uh. Ultimate next, right? Ultimate next and then uh, some talent. Yeah. Yeah, I know, guys. I mean, it, it just be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that it's, that's the thing, right? You know, it, it just it just do be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it really ain't a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. What's next? What's next? Uh -uh. What's next? Alt? Yeah, of course it is. Let me just go and get that. <sighs> you know, it, it really do just be like that. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll finish that shit later too. Uh, should we get? Uh, should we get more speed? Or no? Should we get more for fun? Because if we if we get one more, we get like a break point, don't we? Uh, <laughs> oh man! Uh, we need a crit damage chest, right? Main stat crit damage. Yes, sir. Uh, we need crit damage with some speed. Crit damage. That could work. Two speed crit damage. If that hits speed one time, we're golden. I could just hit speed real quick. Wait, run four piece hacker space if you can. Does that work? Like, would that work? Yes, okay. Then I'll just put that shit on fucking Hanabi's ass right now. 163 speed, does that work? I mean, that just seems insane. Okay, and then I all I need is a hacker space helmet, right? This shit has seven speed, guys. This shit also has seven speed, guys. Hey, boys, welcome to the future. Welcome to 164 speed sparkle on four-piece hacker space. The future is now. All right. Insane. Insane. 164 speed, 175.7% crit damage. Uh, so go ahead, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, man. Just now. Yeah, you saw that shit, right? I know. I know. Wait, watch this. I bet you I have a better gloves. Should we so should we swap the seven speed gloves? Should we swap the seven speed five percent crit damage gloves? You say no. I say yeah. Why not? 
Okay, and then we have speed. We need speed with crit damage boots. All right, those are a work in progress. Let me take speed. Speed boots. Those are all we got. We still have a whole ass relic that has no crit damage on it. Okay, more speed uses until you get to 174, and we'll just get there with time and patience. With time and patience, we, we will... We will. Oh! Hold up, guys. I gotta go come real quick. Uh -uh. Woohoo! Woohoo! Truly boys so here we are 167 speed uh sparkle on full hacker space you know how it goes you know how it is this is why i am your streamer right you know what i'm saying uh this thing is about a fuck oh my god not even 168 win 200 speed we'll get there all right yo what y'all looking at Wait, yo, YouTube chat, why are y'all looking at me like that? What are you upset about? Why is my YouTube, why is my Twitch chat chilling? Why are y'all doing that face at me? What's the problem? Stop stall Kong? Stalling what? Stalling what? You say my ass is stalling? Y'all haven't even gone to subscribe to more Tectone yet by clicking the link. Pressing like and then pressing subscribe. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a promise. The moment more Tectone gets to 3.5 thousand subs, we'll do the story quest. <laughs> okay? You have 30 seconds. 30. 29. Click the link. Click the link. It's up. No more stalling. No more bullshit. And we will not end the stream until, until we beat it. Hey, we need 100 more subs. 20. 19, 18, 16, and like the damn video, hey, <laughs> let's go, that's all I have to do is fucking bribe y'all, holy shit, e and we building it up, and we building it up, and we are building it up, <laughs> we're getting a good ass 10 out of it, oh, 4K, I show my cock on stream. 4,000 subs, I pull out my dick. 10 seconds, 10. Nine. <laughs> okay. I need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Were you shocked just now? <laughs> that emote is so funny to me, dude. No emote will ever be fun. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking blue guy. Oh, it's so funny, dude. Okay, alright, 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 so we need to use Sparkle with her Acker on today. Alright. Well then. Gentlemen. Shall we? Where are we at? We are one hour into the YouTube stream. Damn, we stalled hard. I didn't even mean to. We're just kind of just yapping. Uh, anyways, uh, before we begin, before we begin, just want to say, YouTube, Twitch, know that I genuinely appreciate you guys. The support for my channel has been fucking nuts. 
And if you are here watching this right now, just know that I greatly appreciate all you guys just dropping the memes for a little bit. And just wanted to say thank you guys for being a part of my streams. And I hope you enjoy the content and I hope you're uh, having a wonderful day. And uh, thank you for the follows and the likes and the subscribes. I really appreciate that shit. Okay. Don't be a bro. What the fuck? What? I'm being nice. What the fuck is up with this bullshit? Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, we were on a delay. <laughs> okay, we were on a delay. <laughs> I was like, what, I'm just like, what is going on? Uh, anyways. All right. Okay. All right. We're good. Okay, we're good. Oh, guys, guys, we need to get that emo the fuck. <laughs> Wait, you need to switch the course button and care to be to continue? Switch? Sure. All right. As we were. Day three. This quest is long as fuck. It's actually really nice how we've been taking our time with this shit. So, <sighs> let's begin, baby boy. Uh, let's swap the team. Let's do something a little bit sexy. Uh, let's do something a little bit crazy. I genuinely don't think we need a healer. Dear if we run Sparkle, I don't think there's any way they move, and we Until never run out of skill points. Off. A grand mansion like this, and not a butler or servant in sight. Did we do this before? Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? I fucking love Welt. His voice is like butter to me. Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with. Car oh damn! We went all the way back Wait here. For a moment. We've been jumping over to Adventurine, Tangerine, and fucking Dr. Ratio. Akron draws her blade slightly. Okay. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Well, then just kill him. I see. What an interesting technique. Yeah. Yeah, me personally, I would just kill him. All right, boys, anyways. Stream four. Gleam of old Insane. The model in the sand. Pit. Insane. It's the golden hour. Golden hour. The difference here are different from the rest. Sight! Ha! Ka! Ha! Looks like outsiders <laughs> might have passed through here not long ago. Oh my god. The people who left these footprints. Let somebody come on their shoes and walked well, away. Those kind of look like uh flamboyant even. Those and look uh like tangerines. Size, I'd say these were men's shoes. Those got to be tangerine shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador Adventurine. Yo, these shoes look fucking gay. That's got to be Adventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. Yeah, so, so Dr. Ratio is likely equal in status to Bro, Adventure. imagine being so gay, you got to wear gay the shoes IPC too. Is eager to so much so that if people were to see so the reflection of it or the footprint of it, they'd be like, "Nah, this guy's gay." No 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 doubt about it. Whole boy is gay as fuck. <laughs> Look at them shoes. <laughs> what am I going to lose? That's that's insane. Well, Gay shoes, gotta be adventuring. <laughs> Fucking insane. Well, it's 2024, man. You can't be saying these things, bro. Anyways. Many people in this mansion. I've set up quite a few memetic guards to patrol this place. Memetic? Well, I can't even slice them. The game is on. Oh, I'm not using her in JP. Oh, she goes, Hachi buddy, Hachi buddy, and it's so cute. Shit. That's not it. I'm gonna wait a second. I wanna auto with Kafka. And then I wanna slam this shit with Black Swan. And then I wanna ult. And now I wanna slice. Now I wanna slice. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Another falls. No reaction. Good times. Time Bitch, I'll kill you. Bitch, I'll kill you. I eat your children. Did that hurt? <laughs> Her pose is so cute. Let's play. 
hide and seek. Can you find the answer? Get him! For oblivion. Insane. Look, it dropped something. It's balls! A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Okay. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. YouTube chat, use that fucking serious emote at me one more time. I'm gonna slap the fuck out of you. It must have been a Genuinely. big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Genuinely. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Don't act shocked when it happens. Gah! I hit you. You fly across the room. That that that. That that that. All right, next. Where do we go from here? No one here either. Oh shit, Since but they no exploded. One's around to entertain us. Let's ah, this is where Homeboy home. Sunday brought him. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What it? You know what? What what is what does she mean by that? Cuz if I say that I would be put on a watch list. She wants to cover me in white. You what? Should I read this? Should I read this or skip? Read or skip, y'all pick. Channel my Robin. Rise up, welcome to my world. Uh, dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Pentacony, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods. You what? Of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, YouTube chat, calm down. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentagoni is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of in interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to later conclusions. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged in the family of Pentagoni. And it's highly likely this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother. Because of our promise with the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress, or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There's another matter that requires our attention during my investigation. 
I learned about the memory zone meme in death. Lol. <laughs> and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed this to, is to cause the series of incidents as likely aforementioned traitor in the family. Sussy. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparation for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. I wonder if Sunday is the bad guy and Sunday's the one who killed Robin. Because he thought that she might be onto him. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I have brought some more time in reality when you're free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Gian, giant Moa pudding tarts from Morillions with wild strawberries from Akko and Yako, Nova with exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm really certain you'll enjoy, and almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to enjoy them. May Zipe be with us. Ruin. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Pentacone, okay. Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice and now it seems i was right yeah robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow but as far as i know there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths what about sunday's super mind control mm. shit if there really is a traitor within the family that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength that would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Yeah. Unless he is the traitor. <laughs> we're reading all of it. And we're reading it as well. And Sorrel, a male Holovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach. In the moment of Oasis, subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, male from Zhenzhou, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in the air. Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. It seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation. The information looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Interesting. I'm just surprised that it has resurfaced. Sam. This light cone is securely guarded. Can we? Can I have it? Important memories. They look so cute According together. To oh, look at him. On so many Yippee! So cute. So her cute. Favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder okay. how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. That's so cute. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. I really hope that's a. I really hope that's a future light cone. Will eventually fade away. Actually yoinking. Actually yoinking. <sighs> the fuck. Okay. To Sunday, I've been informed about Robin, and I would like to express my dearest condolences. However. I must remind you now that you hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Penacone. As Penacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment, and be cautious to not engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. <clears throat> I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interest of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, 
and I have never found any evidence linking him to that memory zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Pentagoni's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominicus' arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family. Focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guest invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Oti. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penaconi nor this Old Oti okay. is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charming <clears throat> Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. Maybe it's all a meme. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Last one. Ah! <sighs> Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation to all suspects involved in the death case have been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully yours, S. Mage Rot. Ryan. A gen- Oh, so now- Type 1 for skip. Type 2 for read. All ones, okay. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. Okay. It's gotta be Sunday, they all right? seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists... <laughs> Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. <laughs> or perhaps it's that's Sunday trying to cover his own ass. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh. I don't think trespassing on forbidden yeah! areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. Best boy! Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Best boy! Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we... Geos control! Permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? He's so cute, bro. Even without the famous... He's Galaxy so Ranger. cute! As far as I know... The crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Uh, I can hear you, Acheron. While the truth <laughs> remains a mystery... Uh, I, uh, I'm you're two feet away from me, Acheron. I can hear you. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. 
Let's hope justice will prevail soon. Bro screamed that whisper. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? Oh, because I did it. I told them I did With it. all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival. And the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you. But, in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You Bro, watch the light on Sunday's nose him. go left and right. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Ominous! According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. Let's kill him. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sagonia 4 and is one of the survivors Sagonian of motherfuckers. the Katika Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee Fuck travel em. permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. The motive is he's a piece of shit. Who the fuck? Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Who the fuck is that? If they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Yo! You don't know how many people. What the fuck? Forever. As a servant. When the fuck are we getting our ass? Yet. You went and killed that man anyway. Fuck, what was she saying? I'm looking at her. Oh my god! Who has the audacity to defend you? Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Are we getting her? Can we get her? Not difficult, but definitely. Fuck, what are nice. they saying? Fuck, stop. I fucking. I, too busy looking at her boobs. What are they saying? Holy fuck, I'm such a coomer. Uh, pretty eyes. They shine in the dark. If they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Fucking Tangerine's name is Kakavasha? Okay. You don't know how many people will long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. You went and killed that man anyways. Oh, you killed a bitch. Hey, good shit, homie. Murder-based. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Ooh, we always lose. Not difficult to be pointless. I agree. If you represent yourself, you're terrible. You're in bad shape. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Oh, he killed his slaver. Bae. Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Can I tell you the problem with Adventuring's voice? My problem is every voice line that he says sounds like he's sitting in a salon chair filing his nails while he says it. Now, I want you to imagine that every time he talks and every voice line, you will see that. And just imagine him. Mm, pity. Tell you, just wait. 
You will see it in your head. Next time he talks, you will see it in your head. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though. Yeah. Is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Here we go. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Then let's talk about Am I wrong? Gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. Just text him, bro. And then what? I want cash. Hard cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It's not that complicated. It's really not that shrimp. It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. Queen, slay. Yes. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I... I'm Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbus. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. Are you the give him the one piece? Give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Ooh. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live. Yep. To create even more wealth uh, for us. I think you should kill him anyways. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then... <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Okay. I gotta do that then. Life is like a long-term investment. Wait, adventure read is Kagavasha? Choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcome. What? And show the world uh, their value. <laughs> Can you imagine? The right choices <laughs> but luck has always been on my side. <laughs> Can you imagine? Never lost. Imagine I was that stupid. <laughs> Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? <laughs> she must also be looking upon me right now. <sighs> my success is- Sorry, I'm farming my YouTube chat to do shock. You know, I'm, I'm a farmer, guys. But what then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Oh, now you gotta kill yourself. Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes? Or will I encounter failure? You will die! Never to return. You will die! I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Wait, what? Huh? How is bro talking to himself? What? <laughs> what? What the fuck was that about? What? Huh? Am I 
I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? Sparkle? Perhaps both. Forgotten me already? When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? John Dickdown. Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Yeah, he is. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Oh? <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. Not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. What is happening? What exactly you want? You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> you're dying. Mm. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck? Grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. You know what's great? There are so many people that just sit there and say, Oh, dude, shut up! Shut up and listen! Why the fuck is he talking like that? Who does that? Mm. Oh. oh, you're dying. Mm. Mm. Like, what the fuck? It's so goofy, bro. Like, is he seer? <laughs> like, like, ta, 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 ta. Ta, am I, am I crazy? Like, okay, for real, for real, for real. Is it goofy to anybody else, type one? If it's perfectly fine, type two. I need to know if I'm fucking nuts. Nah, y'all gotta be cap. Y'all gotta be cap, bro. It's gotta be cap. Hold up. That's from the VA director, not the guy himself? Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. I'm just like... Let me ask you a question. So, what in his character says he should be doing that shit? Because, like, a voice is the extension of the emotions that a character's playing. So, like, oh, like, what the fuck? You'll like him soon? It's not a problem of me liking him or not. I just don't get why he's doing that. Because this is a dude who was a fucking slave, right? This was a dude who had to fight for his life. This is a dude who had to murder his captor. So at what point was he like, oh, like, I just don't get it. Will I, will I understand? Like, because my problem is, is that I say that he's zesty. And then people say, what are you talking about? But then, well, literally says, look at these gay ass shoes. Like, am I not so? Like, I feel like he's just being like, he is supposed to be zesty, no? He, he's supposed to be zesty, yes? Yes, okay. And and he's zesty in JP too, right? Because that's the thing that I was losing my mind over. Because I thought homeboy was hella zesty, and I was being told that I'm crazy for thinking that. Okay. So he is zesty as fuck. Okay. Now it all makes sense. 
now now it all makes sense it all makes sense okay all right i can show you before you're entirely gone i'll be with you for the last stretch of your road okay let's have a heart to heart while we walk oh bro's about to masturbate himself home boys is it gay to fuck yourself <laughs> what exactly are you People in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. Yeah. And I am that outcome. Kakavasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Just a Papeshi? No. A child. Ooh, I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm sorry, guys. I am gonna have to kill that child. Right after a quick little mini game. Yippee! I love this. Okay. Uh, we gotta go over there. Okay. So that's connected. Uh, oh, I can move this one. Oh, thank God. Okay. 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 I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. Okay. All right. And then we got to go over there. So. Right there. What? What? Uh, uh, um, what? What? I want to go home. Yes! That's right. That's right. Yippee! Good shit, homie. Good shit, homie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's uh, change this shit to my girl. My main slut. That's right, baby. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you. Lost? It's Sparkle! Sparkle now! Oh! The fuck? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. It's baby adventuring. <laughs> it's baby adventuring. You're. Possible. 
who are you? I am thou, and thou art I. She said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Wait, homeboy ripped out his family's eyeballs and put them inside his eyeballs? eyes too. Beautiful. What the fuck? Are, are you alone? What the fuck? Where are your parents? Is this just like some like Karapika bullshit from Hunter Hunter? Park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, Mister. Hope you have a good time too. You can't have those. Those are my eyeballs. God! <laughs> and Mama Thun. <laughs> no, no, it it can't. Oh, dude, that would go so hard, bro. Rips out his eyeballs. Yo, by the way, boys, we're at 3.7 thousand subscribers on the More Tectone channel. So we've already gained another 900 subs today. The new goal is 4K. We are almost already there. For all you guys who are clicking the link in the chat box, uh, chat bot and the, uh, the Twitch channel, or the, the top of your chat box, thank you for clicking that and subscribing. But please, 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 uh, if you guys could actually watch the clips on there in full length, it would help tremendously. Uh, would greatly appreciate that. Trying to get that channel into the algorithm. That way uh, we can promote more of the clips and uh, alternative content that I'll be doing. But mainly still gotcha stuff. But uh, I just do a lot more goofier shit that I don't deem uh, appropriate for my main <laughs> channel. So, uh, yeah, you guys got a second. I would greatly appreciate that. I kind of just want to use adventuring for combat, so I'm going to do that. Feeling lucky. Let's just try. Oh, let's go. May as well kill them all. I still don't really know what adventuring does at all, besides puts just a wacky little shield, right? Existence is unity. Up. Relax. I hit the mark. It's on me. So it's a 1400 shield? That's not really that good, is it? Stand still. Is that good? The dice have been cast. Bust. Oh, it's stackable? Maybe I'll take it off. Wait, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? That is so cool. Okay. What do you want to that do? is genuinely Adventures. fucking sick. Spend freely. So that shit stacks. Those eyes. And Mama Thunga. No, no, it. Oh it, fuck, he's it, actually yeah. kind of cool. Ah oh, shit. There aren't any Aftons left. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, fuck. Ah oh, fuck. Wait, his kid is actually cool as fuck. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck him, bro. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck this character, bro. No, nah, 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 nah. I don't need him. It's fine. Nah, we don't need him. It's cool. Feeling lucky. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good, guys. We don't need him. Yeah, we're chilling. Grace and elegant. Stand still. Destiny isn't chosen. We're good. Read his kit. It's on me. <laughs> oh fuck! That's kind of cool, though. Ah, no, 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 Nah, 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 nah. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I hit the mark. Spend freely. Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck. And Mama Thunga. No, no, it. It can't. There aren't any Avgens left. Ah, oh, fuck, it's so cool.
Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. That's good, good, good. Okay, all right. And, and, bada bing, bada boom. And we're done. And we do one done. Wait, ooh, there it is. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. 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 We're good, we're good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Nintendo Direct. What a terrible joke. Uh, uh, uh. What a terrible fucking joke. What a terrible fucking joke. What a terrible joke. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah, that joke's not on the main channel, guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we're cutting that one off. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. Yup. You will receive no charity on Panacone. That's right. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls. That's um, right. Not a likely feat. Okay. Which is why once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Okay. Like a okay. hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. Because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Okay. All right. Well, when you put it like that, even ratios of teeny peacock analogy sounds... What do you mean by his peacock? Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. His what? It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracy calculation. You're both gay. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Interesting. Very <laughs> interesting. Go on. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm pretty. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Fuck no. Tight, sober, cautious. Hell no. Massive inferiority complex. Nah, fuck that. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. Interesting. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know. Other hand is below the table. Jerking your <laughs> jerking your homie off. <laughs> Why is his hand below the table, bro? Is he jerking off the, the, the dealer? It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself too. Relatable. Relatable. I like that. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is true. first being able to fool yourself. Dude, 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 and that skill is so good. I had the same thing where a lot of you guys may not believe this, but like I am actually incredibly introverted, but I've tricked myself into thinking that I like highly social environments. Uh, and eventually I've done it for so long that now I'm an extrovert. Uh, it's, it's a very good skill to have. It's a very, very, very good skill to have. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But nah, I embrace preservation. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Know it. Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? What do you mean by pegged? 
We're done. Either stop talking we're done. or disappear. <laughs> We're done. You're done. Fine. You're done. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Okay. Okay, interessante. <laughs> I do love this character's design, man. I really do. Our Omega Gay Gambler. He looks like uh, he looks like Giorno Giovanna. Feeling lucky. Like, I, I, like, I, I should, you know, like, if you haven't seen this dude, like, bro, bro is literally a JoJo reference, which really isn't um. It's really not a reach with how many Joe Drivens they've already had in this uh in this in this in this game. Like look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit. What's this? If you don't pull, you're homophobic. Oh, okay, guys. I guess I can't pull anymore. Never mind, guys. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Damn. Twitter got me. <laughs> fuck. It's actually such a cool kit, man. Dude, should I just get one copy of every character? so hard to build all the characters though bro fuck my ass wait catch up with oh we go this way let me kill the child after the agony the shouts and the cries prisons palaces and reverberations <laughs> what the fuck what is bro schizophrenic just like me playing hide and seek I'm really good at this. Welcome to my world. Renew your definition. So high. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Nice song, where'd you hear it? I don't know. I don't know. Good times. Time to say bye. What? Nowhere? Yeah, nowhere. There's more to like. Why do you ask? Do the thing. Cast. Okay, let's see what his kit does. The fuck is so much toe typical helix? What the fuck? Okay, deals damage to a single target enemy. Provides provides all allies with a fortified wager shield. Whose shield effect is stackable. Oh shit! Gains a random amount of blind bet points and inflicts unnerved on a single enemy. Dealing imaginary damage when an ally hits an unnerved enemy, the crit damage dealt increases. Interesting. For any single ally with fortified wager, their effect res increases. And when they get attacked, Adventuring accumulates blind bet. When Adventuring has fortified wager, he resists crowd control debuffs. When Adventuring has... Wait. When Adventuring has a fortified wager, he can resist crowd control debuffs. Upon reaching seven points of blind bet, Adventuring consumes the seven points and launch a follow-up attack 
that deals minor imaginary damage to a random single enemy targets, bouncing a total of seven times. Using the technique randomly grants one out of three defense boost effects with different buff values, all entering the next battle, increases all allies' defense with the corresponding value. Okay. Grant a shield that absorbs damage and increases effect rise by 50%. While the shield persists or before or the effect disappears, enemy attacks will not reduce the shield character's HP. After those characters receive damage, eventually receives two points of blind bet. After an ally with fortified wager uses a follow-up attack, Adventure gains one blind bet. Okay, so he's a fo so he's a follow-up supporter. Fifty percent effect rest is nuts. Bust, or maybe I'll take it all. <laughs> that Watch effect looks so cool. God, that shit looks so fucking awesome, bro. What do those enemies even do? Good Anyways. Never last. You ever watch Kafka's titties just bounce up and down and they're all? That was good, right? Time to say bye. Boom. Are you gonna bust? I'm gonna take it all! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, here we go. Yep. Easy. Easy. Okay. There's no problem. Three-parter? Let's go! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, 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 easy. Sorry, my, my brain exploded. My brain, my brain exploded a little bit. A little bit. All right, easy, easy fucking game. Easy fucking game. All right, cool. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Nanners. Hi, Nanners. Yo, Nanners, when are we going to play games again? I miss you in Eiffel. I miss you guys. I hope I hope you'll invite me to do something sometime. I don't know. I always invite you to come out to Austin. You never come. I sure wish you would. We're going to Austin? I don't believe you. I'll believe you when you're at my house. Oh shit. Completely ruined that shirt. Shame. Wasn't that the last one dad left behind? <laughs> oh my god, in my shirt. <laughs> okay, bro. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Okay, bro. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. Okay, bro. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. 
You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. Are we gonna die? Why do I feel like Avenger ain't gonna get fucking calved, bro? That child. Could he be in here? There's no shot we just kill Adventurine for fun, right? <laughs> I'm finally starting to like the fucking guy. Feeling lucky. Nah, there's there's no shot. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Memories are ever Try to hit me, bitch. Lies an endless abyss. It's the same photo. What do you mean it's the same photo? Memories are ever changing. Guys, okay. It it's a different photo. Uh, uh. What do you want to know? Alright, slam that bitch. Alright. These dudes are mad strong. Have we noticed that? Oh no. Oh no. Hit me one more time. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. Hit her. She likes the pain. Hit Kafka. Hit Kafka. You're dead. Take that shit, bitch boy. How my balls taste. Yes, sir. Next! Pop him! Yes, sir! Hey, go again! Time to say bye. Go again! Boom! No reaction. Easy. Alright. Yeah, Captain. Good shit, girl. Good shit, girl. Easy. Could he be in here? That's gotta be good. Defense, defense, effect hit rate, effect rest, that's gotta be good. It literally has to be good. Holy gigabase. Uh, do we gotta go? Oh, fuck my ass. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck me, bro. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. I knew that. I knew that would happen. Oh, <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. I mean, come on, guys. All right, easy. Yo, admit, admit that was insane. Admit, dude, 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 dude. No, no time flat. Insane. Oh, okay, I got this. All right, here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Yep. Done. Wait. Is that not enough? Insane. Insane. Yahoo! Wait, wrong way. How? Okay, then I go here. And then I go here. And there's a fucking chest right here. I told you it was the right way. And then I go here. And then I go this way. And then another chest. Lost? What the fuck do you mean? Bro, I just got I just got I just got, I just got giga value. What are you talking about? That that's exactly where I wanted to be. Where am I? Are we back? <laughs> but I feel like I've been here before. Wait, yo, chat, why did you let me go that way? What the fuck? Bro, there needs to be a new character that just like pulls out a fucking car. 
and just drives around. Bro, where am I? This cannot be the... I'm supposed to be over here, but what the fuck? Where, where were y'all taking me? The fuck? All right, let's go. All right, let's get it. Do I kill this fucking monkey? Oh, never mind. That's just a robot. Okay, what about you? Do I kill the dog? Nah, hell no. All right, next. Chest. Chest. There it is. Saw it. Is this... Ain't that my little Jimmy, Jimmy guy? A, a topaz. Oh. oh. What is this doing here? Show me my baby girl. <sighs> Holy fuck, bro. Is bro's head exploding? What? Does her corners don't wrench out of your heart, sir? Did she, did she die? Why is Topaz's gem here? <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. I hate how chat was right because I fucking hated Adventurine for so long, but now I actually like him. And and I hate it because I was so sure I just was not going to like him. I was positive. I was positive I was not gonna like him. And it makes me so mad when chat's right. I was I was one million percent certain. I was like, hey, fuck him. He's annoying. Hold on, let me go piss. Give me a second. Oh, give me a second. Get that thing. Get that thing. What a fucked up day. I was invited to play Mario Kart with Shy Lily, Miz, and Emmy. But I don't know where a Nintendo Switch is, so we're just like gonna not do that. Uh, we'll probably just stream all day and do other shit. What a fucked up day, man. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, keep going. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've gotta get it. I've heard a lot of love, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Horatio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was... Huh? Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. Huh? All the better for you. I don't think that was uh, acting. Sunday did become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature. Well, that's fair. So much that he gets suspicious. I'm thinking Sunday one million percent killed. That's why you had ratio Robin. You think so? The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. You spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found you the cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Nah, no shot. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Cap. Pure one. Best 
Was the ratio betrayal actually part of the plan? What the fuck? That seems so not part of the plan. <laughs> Damn, bro. Is that so? Even oh, the bitch! The difference. I know her. Well, looks like Jane she got the big boobies. I, I saw her today. Too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Aventurine, topaz, jade, three elites, three cornerstones. Who, for a measly panic healthy, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the. Wait, so when, do, when can we play Jade? As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. So when can we play Jade? But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. So where's the real adventuring stone? Take it out. Have a look. Take your cock out. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? Okay. I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble it somewhere. It do, actually. It really do. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. It's so pretty. I'll keep it a buck. I did not know adventure was a stone. I feel kind of stupid right now. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways. You smashed the adventure stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. Take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. Oh, fuck. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Klipoff's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Who is Diamond? How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's corner. No, I'm saying like, what do they look like? Its effect may be greatly diminished, but I get that that's the leader. I get it. Now I'm really curious. I'm hoping to God that's a girl. I ain't gonna lie though, Diamond sounds like a fucking mad stripper name. There's a dude? Ooh. Okay. There is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. But ain't you gonna die though? That is if you can do what it takes. I'm assuming he can. I'm assuming he in fact does do what it takes. Oh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. 
Give me that box. Huh? Ooh, nice. And we out. Don't make me talk to a child. Hello. Fuck. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Rip out his eyes and sell them on the black market. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. Eat the child. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, a and together, turning us into one big No family. way! You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> sure. Oh, don't make me hang out with this fucking child, bro. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening? Okay. Click flip the dodge bullshit. Nutsy blitz. You got it. Don't tell me shit. Don't insult me. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, I'm so fucking dumb. Okay. Easy. Easy. Okay, clapped. How's that? Not a bad score, eh? Who is bro talking to? <sighs> Boring. That was part of the story? Insane. Okay. And then? Yeah. Why aren't you talking? How close is this to the end? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. I'm in you no rush. I'm just wondering. Here this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. I would hope so. Aren't we the same person? And so what is the deal with Homeboy? Journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. What do you mean stretching this out? What if this is Sunday trying to make Tangerine think that he's going crazy to get him to reveal all of his secrets? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what if this is all just a ruse? Oh, this place. It's so tall. Here is no water. So Rock and no water, only the sandy this, road. This one's for you. Okay. Oh, that's probably not good to find. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, it kind of does. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. And you made your first pot of gold. <laughs> oh, shit. I it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... 
You what? Shut up. What did I do? Oh, you don't wish to face your past. <laughs> Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tamas. Yeah, it's kind of depressing, bro. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such a daring risk? So he killed all the other slaves now. And the slave owner? You love the thrill of danger. But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. Jesus. In your hands, those who follow you could have become joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. Not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Yeah. Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? So is he actually struggling with his own mental health so much that he's hallucinating all of this? If the problem is that it, leaves can be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? But the problem is he has the same goo on him that uh, Sunday put on him. Read the read the next quest description after. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Oh, here we go. Your future never existed. 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Side note. Hey, guys. Have you checked out more Tech Town? Our goal was to hit 4,000 subscribers today. We started off at 2.8K, and we are only 160 subs off of reaching yet another goal. And all of the videos are getting residual views thanks to you guys, and almost all clips have 1,000 views. Appreciate you. Hearts to the chat for you guys. Thank you, everybody who clicked the link at the top of chat to go subscribe to my new channel, which I will be running for $0. All of the money that this channel makes will be going to my editors. Uh, and also to help future giveaways, uh, if there's any access. Uh, so, appreciate you guys, and thank you for someone in the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Very cool. Hoping we can get to 4K if you guys just click real quick. Watch the clips and subscribe. Would be very cool. Would be very cool. Would be. Come on. 70 more. Come on. Come on. 30 more. Come on. Let's go! Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Appreciate you, chat. Appreciate you. Next goal, give link. It's at the top of the chat. So if you look at YouTube chat, it's going to be right there. The new link is right there. All you got to do is click the link at the top of chat. It's right there. Uh, it's a new channel that'll be used for 
more long form content and more clips, not just clips, but as well as new videos that I'm not gonna post on my main channel, but are of different stuff. Not that they're not good. Just to do, oh my God, yo, thank you boys. Appreciate you. And I believe it's also the same on Twitch. Ew. And I believe it's also the Which same is... on Twitch. Yeah, if you just click this little link right here, bada bing, bada boom, go sub, and then uh, check out the clips. <sighs> they're good. They're funny. <laughs> Would appreciate that, boys. Would appreciate that. <laughs> We're having uh, four different editors run that channel. Four different ones. We're really going to try to push the boundaries of that channel. And we're going to see how it goes. Where there water, we should stop and drink. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, also, final thing. If you want to submit clips to edit for that channel, uh, discord.gg forward slash techtone mods, if you can spam that link, uh, go join. It's a very good place for a lot of people to hang out. It's been, it's been the most active uh, gotcha creator discord out of all of them. Uh, there's always people chilling here. Uh, as even even right now like there's tons of people chilling in the mint fields playing honkai and honkai and cookie run and honkai and honkai and honkai but mainly cookie run it's been good uh and we have a submit clips channel if you guys ever think a funny moment happens on stream you go to submit clips post your little clips we'll edit them up and we'll post them on the old youtube very cool very, very, very cool. All right, cool. Where the fuck do I go? Am I supposed to be in here? Maybe amongst the rock, something, something cock. <laughs> What did I find now? What even is that? Oh. Right now is hard to put into words. Oh, that's who that so is. Charm on the left of you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Oh. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops. Who is Big Sis? And can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never Do we know who Big Sis is? You're going through. No, I understand it's his sister. But do they have his do they have a name? Like are they a character we're going to meet? She's dead? Okay, then no we won't. All right. Okay. All right. Damn. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told me to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Bro's actually a shit disturber to himself. Oh, shut me down like a champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. And woo! You are not. <laughs> In the Damn, he's gay. Man. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. But why do we. So we want to go head to head with Sunday because we think Sunday killed Robin, is what I'm assuming here. The last word. A word that 
but he's so cute. We'll know when the dice falls. My ass? <laughs> All right, then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiofna's blessing? Yeah, it's OP, bro. <sighs> Ah. Oh. Yeah. It's so quiet this time. Yeah, I didn't know it'd be pretty fucking epic. Check the question description again. Failure, discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, mother, goddesses, beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure, discarded, loser, pointless, coward, murderer, chosen one, selfish, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, loser, discarded, pointless. Ward, Mer, Gambler, Blessed, Isk, Useless, Loser, Send, Mother, Goddess, Loser, 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 Loser. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> My mom said I'm cool. Dead Mountain, Mouth of Curious Teeth. Yeah, I'm Wubba, you're glue. Whatever you say about yourself means sticks to you. Need it out of this. Going home? But I don't want to go back yet. Oh, sorry, little guy. You have cancer. You're dead. Okay, so how do we do this? All right, seems good. Seems good. Okay. What in the Gaiathra Triclops? White, open, new. No. Uh, no. Wait. Um. Ah! Ah! Get, me get, me get, me get. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. Yeah, well, you're gonna die, little little Jimmy. I right, watch this shit. Watch this fucking speed run. Insane. Actually, actually insane. In fucking insane. If there were water and no rock, if there were rock and no water, yep, I sure would be thirsty. Brother Hanu, where are you going? Wait, I have to Hanu for the quest? Wait, bro, but I'm so immersed right now. We're gonna make me Hanu? Oh my god. I'm so fucking cool. Holy shit, I'm so fucking giga -based. There's only one place he can be going. I'm so fucking giga -based. Oh, Hanu, let's get it. Got him. Next. There he goes. God, he's so cool. Oh, 
Okay. Then what, Hanu? We blow him the fuck up? Gotcha. Dumbass. Okay. Do I blow up this wall? I'm thinking I blow up that wall. Uh. Do I blow up the wall? Let me just shoot it. Oh. Okay. So we don't do that. Uh, maybe we're done then. Yeah, maybe we just return to normal form, and now I'm past it. Okay. Yeah, it's easy. All right, good. Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. Shut the fuck up, rat. <laughs> ah, it really is you. Anyways. Getting dizzy. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Say bye to breathing. Break that bitch. Zap him. Destiny is a ill fate. Slam him. Spend freely. I love that. Actually, such a such a such a gigantic such a gigantic move. Such a giga based move. Nice, dumbass. Anyways, enough. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I want everybody to know in chat, my Kafka is better than yours. There's more to life. Uh, it is not close. You are coping if you think otherwise. <laughs> My Kafka is way better than any of y'all's. The dice have been cast. Anyways. Must. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Insane. Does it even have 160 speed? My Kafka? Say bye to You're asking if My Kafka has 160. Bro, try 165. So go ahead, try again, man. Chad, do I drop $100 for Cookie Run? Yep. So, yeah, you know, there's that. Yeah, there's that, man. So. Some value, I suppose. Ask me how much I spent for. Ask me how much, ask me how much I spent. Zero dollars. Zero dollars, guys. Free to play, by the way. <laughs> Holy fuck, kid. Shut up. Genuinely. What the fuck is this? Okay. Okay. Wait, do I blow him up? Oh, I do. Okay. Much better. Lock in. Pump him. Lock in. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Pump him. Easy clap. Yes, sir. Easy. Bang. Okay. Wait. Ooh, that's a big ask. That's a big ask. That is a big ask. <sighs> we, ha we have to do it all, right? We have to do it all. Dead. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 
Yes, sir! Kill! Next! Shit on. Fuck! Ooh! Nice. Easy clap. All right, next. Do it now? Okay. We'll clear it all right now. Oh, let's get it. Okay. Gather this bullshit. Next. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Why is my chat so red right now? Wait, guys, you literally just told me to do this. Boom, boom, boom. Like, bro, you literally just told me to... No one said that? Ignore chat. I'm really enjoying you doing this. Okay, good. I will. I will. All right, cool. All right, let's go again. All right, six more. Let's just lock in. Let's just lock in. Let's just lock in. Let's just lock in. Oh, that's good, baby. Why the fuck is my chat so red? Why do I feel like something insane is about to happen in the story and everybody wants to see it? And I'm pissing people off by playing the game. Guys, I have to be. I'm free to play. I need the fucking gems. I'm not like you fucking whales who can just skip this shit, man. Because I should be the only motherfucker getting praise for doing this minigame right now. Yep, nice. Uh, flip, boom. Next. Flip, boom. Boom, boom. Anyways. Bop. Okay, we're, dude, we're literally halfway. We're literally halfway. Chat, we're literally halfway. We're, we're literally halfway, man. We're almost done. We're legit almost done. We just gonna take this shit out because otherwise I'm gonna fucking forget. Just fucking give me a second, man. If you guys were to at least spam Pog, I would do this shit faster. Holy fuck. You're killing the vibe. Go, go. Yep, yep, yep. Almost done. Yep, super speed. Easy. Easy. We need a little bit more. A little bit more. Boom, boom. Dodge. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Three more. Boom, boom, boom. Next. Complete. Easy. We go again. Halfway done. <laughs> Dude, fuck, Chad. I'm hurrying up. You literally can't beat the main story unless you clear this. Am I not? What? Oh. oh. Okay, I get it now. What the fuck? What is that bullshit? Oh, you can lean. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I didn't know that. So I'm going to need everybody to relax before I start getting pissed off. I literally have to... Dude, I need gems, man. I literally need gems. I literally need gems. <laughs> Dumbass. Anyways, I'm too good for this bullshit. Anyways, we'll sneak by. Anyways, next. Clapped. All right, dude, 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 dude. Chat, chat. Do you want? Do you want me to get a fucking? Do you want me to get a boot hill or not? 
This is how we get a fucking boot hill, boys. Relax. I'm not like you other players who can just afford people to have to, people to play on my account for me, bro. I actually have to play the fucking game. Easy. Yep. Easy. Boom! Yep. Yep. I'm so fucked. We're so fucked. We're so fucked. Nice. Nice. Sneak through. Sneak through. Sneak through. Clapped. Good shit. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Next. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. We have one. We have one left, chat. I'm stressed. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was stressful. I feel like I'm at the spiral abyss all over again. Nice, nice, nice. Sneak. Nice. Boom, boom. We need 4K. I have a feeling we're not getting it. I have a big feeling we're not getting it. Unless we absolutely clear house right now. Oh, mama mia, we fucking smashed it. Nice. One more. Literally 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 one more. Right, let's go. Sneak. Yep. Sneak. Sneak. Clutch play. Clutch play. Fuck. It's all right. We're good. Boom, boom. Sneak. Boom, boom. Okay, dude, 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 dude. Literally, literally one more. Literally, literally one more. 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 Yep. Sneak. Nice. Literally one more. Literally one more. Literally one more. Literally one more. Nice, nice. Sneak. Go, jump. Bounce, bounce. We need literally 5,000. Sneak. Nice, nice. Bounce, bounce. Collect, 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 collect. Next. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Nice. Sneak. Come on. Yes! Done. Easy. Good shit, boys. We got them all. We've completed them all. And with that... Is that from the game? Wait... Is that from the game? Hey, thank you for the donation. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo, thank you for the donation. Shit, bro. Damn, I don't know you would chill like that. Damn, bro. Hey. <laughs> Ah. Thank you for the donation. Yo, you want me to get what? You want me to get Adventurine or something? Bro, bro trying to get me to get Adventurine. Wait, what is this? 
How the fuck do you get those? Wait, how in the fuck do you get those? Oh. Donating to a millionaire. <sighs> Guys. We're all tracking in a couple of days. I'm no longer going to be a millionaire, right? Guys, come Thursday, and I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. Come Thursday, I am losing $900,000. So, I will no longer be allowed to call myself a millionaire. So, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm it now. Boys, we are doing a subathon when I move to my new house. And that's a guarantee. We will be doing a subathon when we get to my new house. And we're going to see how long for. Pink and LaRoe have both confirmed that they are willing to help me with whatever I need during the subathon. Which would be nice. Because maybe I'll just have them take over my subathon for the whole day. <laughs> that would be genuinely insane. Oh, and I also want to let you guys know. Braxophone will be coming over soon. So. That will also be happening. And in September, Mr. Pokey will also be coming over. But. Yo, that's got to be good on somebody, right? The creepy guy? Yeah, I'm going to see whether he's creepy or not. This one. Is this good on- this has got to be good on somebody, right? Boot Hill? Who would this be good on? What if I get- what if I get 13 speed on that piece? Then what? Don't talk to me, motherfucker. I'm going to rip your throat out, you why, fucking but child. But you always give me a special feeling. Yeah. It makes me more curious about you. Yeah? Bye, curious? It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? No. Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. He dies. A slow and painful death. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. He fucking he's gonna die. This amusement park, this beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. What is the significance but of this belt? Mister, I feel like it has to mean something, but I just don't know what because I'm stupid. What could that belt possibly <laughs> fucking mean? Because they're not here. You want to die. You want to die. We all are. Don't you? Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past. Knew it. And future. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't know that shit at all. How long will you stay? 
Wait, so he's fucking Ebenezer Scrooge? We'll be with you forever in this dream. <laughs> Wait, that's his dead ass ghost talking to him? What the fuck? I knew that was him. The baby adventuring. I had no idea what the fuck that ghost was about. That's insane. What the fuck? Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so called. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, the Hawkeye Riders are going so insane. I actually love this shit. If this is his future, why is he a ghost? Probably because he's about to fucking die. Doesn't waste a drop of sweat. Even when he's up to his neck. Territory. Jesus. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains and spotlit center stage. <laughs> Does he? You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. What the fuck? I can do it. And it will be flawless. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple now. I'm so tired. Every day in the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed. Damn. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been what the holy the fucking sad. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. But with that new death come oh, So that's why Diamond chose you. The colors coming from Sam were green and gold which were the colors of Firefly and also the colors of Adventure Inn. Because Sam is an embodiment of everybody who dies on Pentagon. Right? That's got to be it. That's that's got to be it. It's got it's got to be something, right? I mean, because like, I mean, that's got to be intentional, no? Because that coincidence is just insane. Okay, anyways. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. Hey, YouTube watchers, press like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you. Oh, and, and, and. If we get to 4.5 thousand subs on my More Tecton channel, we will finish this quest today. So click on more tech on link the top of the chat for YouTube and Twitch. If we get to 5k, if we get to 4.5k, we will finish this whole story. All you have to do, all you have to do is click the subscribe button on YouTube. That is all you have. It's right at the top of the chat. It's right at the top. Okay, I didn't, I didn't shut up. I, I, okay. I just want this channel to do good, guys. I really do. Oh my God, that actually worked. I appreciate you, boys. Oh, my God. That, that worked. Holy fuck. All right, anyways. All right, we're back at it. I was going to do it anyways. All right, let's go. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I said to your mom. 
Well, don't get soft on me now. That's what your mom said to me, too. What? Did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is True. play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. True. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. The luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyandra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless death... He's not going to try to get Sunday to die in his place, right? Then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> Surely not. Maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... Depressing. Nah, 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 but, 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 what if I have Bailu to revive me? And now, only we are left. Hey, hey, hey man. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. Jesus. Golden Kappa? What? We have a fucking Golden Kappa trade on Twitch? Yo! Boys, if you don't know what that means, that means if you are to subscribe to my Twitch right now, you will unlock a exclusive emote only available if you sub right now. So if you guys sub or get the sub, you will get it. And the best thing is, the more people that get the sub, the more people who will get it. It'll AOE effect. So if you would like to subscribe with Twitch Prime or get the sub, now is the best time to do so. How do I sub, Tectone? How do I sub? Well, you go to your favorite streamer, you press the subscribe button, in the bottom left, it's going to say, use my Prime sub. You click the box, you press subscribe through with Prime, you get a free fucking sub. Now is an incredible time to subscribe. That would be very wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh my God, we're almost at 5K. We're building it up, baby. We're building it up. We are building it up. Feels good. Feels good. I, I don't want to stall too much. I really like I really like talking about the Golden Kappa trains, but for the sake and respect of my YouTube chat, who is uh, I mean I'll just be real, uh, these guys are less than pleased. These guys are less than pleased, guys. We're we're gonna we're gonna have to somehow meet in the middle here, right? Because the two chats are very different, right? Because you guys are getting the Golden Kappa train. There's no Golden YouTube train. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I don't want to piss these guys off. Uh, by the way, YouTube chat, uh, after we beat the main quest, do you guys want to dabble in a little bit of cookie run? You guys, you guys want to dabble in a little bit of cookie run? Also, Twitch chat, thank you for the subs. Uh, we've already gotten over 120 from the Golden Kappa train. Thank you so fucking much. I appreciate the fuck out of that. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. I appreciate that, guys. I would beg more, but uh, I know you guys really want to see the finale of this, and I, I have a feeling we're getting there. I have a feeling we're getting there. It's fucking sick. This quest has been so good. 
It actually is insane. I, I don't know when the moment was where I went from not liking Adventuring to now actually really liking the character. Uh, but I'm going to make a quick little Twitter post. Uh, let me look up Adventuring on Google. And let's make a post. I started off hating this character more than anyone else. Now I'm about to finish the 2.1 story quest and all be real. I fucking love this gay ass man. Bro is zesty as fuck. And I love this dude. Bro is so gay. Like, bro is so gay. It's insane. It's actually assuming. Nah, bro. There's no shot. He's straight. There's there's literally no shot. He's straight. There is no reality where homeboy is straight, bro. There's no way. Like, there's no shot. He gay as fuck. We love him. Yeah. He's cool, bro. He's cool. Uh, it is also one million degrees. Give me. 50, yo, YouTube chat, fucking relax. I'm turning on the AC. I'll be right back. Chat, calm down with that fucking emote. YouTube chat, can you just be happy for two seconds? Holy fuck. Why are y'all so goddamn angry? Holy shit. Chill, bro. Chill. We're good. We're good. Holy shit. Both my chats are losing it right now. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, wait, bro does not care about the story at all. Yes, I do. What do you mean? It's hot. I'm going to go turn the AC. Good God. What the fuck? This has been a really good quest. How did y'all like this quest from one to 10? What did y'all think? I think, uh, I think it's been really good. It's, uh, it's definitely been one of the slowest quests in Honkai, but I think it's a good slow. I think it's a good slow. Uh, there's been pretty much nothing that I've wanted to know that hasn't been answered, which I feel really good about. So I'm enjoying this shit quite a bit. Yeah, I feel like Pentacone's story has been fucking insane. But uh, I know this is going to be one of those stories where like adventuring, Dr. Ratio, Sunday, Walt Acheron are eventually going to collide in one area. Because that's how stories like these go, and I have a feeling things that are not good are about to happen when that happens. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. There he goes. Not saving that shit, bro. Not having that shit in my fucking library. How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Yeah, freak. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back to? Well, back to what? I can't leave yet. I got shit to do, bro. 
I still have a show to do. Yup. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. What the fuck? <laughs> so you're an actor? No wonder your clothes are so stylish. Nah, homie, I'm, I'm just gay. A merchant. But I do have a show to do. Bro. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? Yeah, I'm like men in black, but I don't hit people for talking about my wife. Alright. Are we... I have a feeling I'm about to get hella depressed. I got. I just got that feeling. Because, like, this music is, like, mad heavy. And I am really worried about this cutscene. Because I know something insane is going to happen. Because I am very aware of the viewer count right now. And when the viewer count starts slowly going up and up and up, I know something bad about to happen, bro. <laughs> I know something bad going to happen. Uh, and the amount of follows and subs we've gotten this stream, not only on my Twitch, not only on my YouTube, but on my second channel, has been nuts. So, I have a feeling... I have a feeling... There's something that's about to happen in the next couple minutes. Oh, crank? Alright. I have a feeling something not good about to happen in here. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. Okay. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. Okay. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. <laughs> it's all right. I know how to do it. Of course I know. Oh no. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all the money. <laughs> Holy Food. fucking nails. They killed our parents. What more do they want? Jesus. The catechins are bloodthirsty. And that's the kid Cold that was baby adventuring, yeah. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava. And that's our dead sister, yeah. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Man, this birthday fucking sucks. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Jesus. Why are you all doing this? The Afjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me. While Papa and Mama are waiting for me, I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and 
help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Jesus. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. That's what... Keep your blood eternally pulsing. That's what baby adventuring wanted Let to do with older adventurers. Be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakafasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC I'm getting fucking stressed out just from watching this shit, man. ...that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Yeah. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The okay. clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. Holy The casualties fuck. are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. Jesus Christ! The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? His mind's clear now. That was his anxiety, wasn't it? His fear of facing what he know, knows he has to do. It, that was his anxiety. That, that was him knowing what he had to do and freaking the fuck out and seeing his life flash before his eyes. What the fuck? are in place <laughs> oh, oh no it's time for the show to begin oh no oh no this act is dedicated to you i hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you yo but what if you live but what if you live though kakavasha but what if you live though by the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What's that, Sunday? You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Are we about to get into a cutscene? Is this Miss Acheron? Oh, thank God I wasn't ready. Oh, whoo! Oh, okay, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Phew! All right, good. Good, nice little break. Nice little break. Whew, I was about to throw up. I was getting so stressed. I'm not even kidding, bro. <clears throat> bro, I'm like about. I'm actually about to puke from how stressed out that made me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Good God. Okay. All right. 
Okay. Hey, boys. It's been fun. Thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing on my stream. Thank you for watching the stream. I appreciate... Hello. I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that bitch. Yeah, you call me Clocky. Uh... Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Yeah, bro, I've been, I've been reading the Since story Walt via text. Walt's been texting me uh, aspects. means that he trusts you, and we trust his judgment. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Then come aboard the Astral Express. This hacker on here doesn't present a danger. Replace, replace no Nanhong. To the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Okay. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. Right? You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? I saw that shit coming. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Like what? Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Why not just suck them all into a black has hole? Numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellarbog and the Tianzhou. I am the bone of my bat, Stellaron is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again, but it's a good vibe. <laughs> No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacony. Yep. Yep. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Then what are we waiting for? Let's move out then. But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. Yep. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history. Oh, here we go. Okay, well then why don't we go? Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? They'll show up. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Well? God damn, bro. Playing as Acheron, you really don't... You really don't get how beautiful she is. Until you, like, have her. She's actually so fucking gorgeous, bro. Stream four. Whoa, Laro, 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 why are you talking to me, bro? Let me out. Okay, here we go. Yo, what up, March? Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Uh, I'll be real. Not really. Yeah, you're right. Your trauma isn't getting to you, is it? Take it easy. It'll be fine. Yeah, Loki, I think I need to stare at this piss fountain for a little bit because I'm getting stressed out. Loki, I'm getting stressed. Okay, my trauma with Tectone, it is stressing me out. Should I put a heart rate monitor on? Oh, man. The only thing keeping me sane right now is this piss fountain. Low key. Okay. All right. Boys. 
Give me a shock if you're ready. I don't know what's about to happen, but I actually, I just, I know something bad's gonna happen, bro. I know something bad's gonna happen. Okay. Let's get it. 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 Let's go. Hi, Evan. Yep. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Okay. Cutscene mode. Mr. Yang. Yeah, what up? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? They already know. It's just like you said. I texted them that shit. An inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate, in the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. Easy. OP. If my meager strength is required. We clap. A walk among the tombstones? Uh, it wants ice. And electric. Let's bring Paylock. Yeah. Then let's go. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Why are we already so stressed out just to go to a show? What? Why does this feel so, we're just going to a show. Why am I bringing a team of four to, to go to a show? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why is there boss music? Okay. Hey, cool place you got here, Adventuring. Cool room, man. Astral Express. You're late. And this. Unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. Yeah. Well, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Myself. Everyone, give it up oh. for Miss Deveron! Woohoo! Yeah, we're like all... We're like the only one here. Uh, uh, There's no crowd. <laughs> Yippee! Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. <laughs> Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? That's a great question, man. Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist in Drain's promise is nothing but a sham. That's a good point. Probably. Three homicides? Robin? That's right, madam. Firefly? The third one is about to happen right now, right here. <laughs> oh, Are they gonna kill him ago? A truly grand death. No shot! You, you, 
No shot! They're gonna kill him, Echo! And you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stone. The fuck did I do? You will become the personification of death. I bet you I won't. I really ain't that powerful. Never underestimate. I mean, I'm like bottom tier, brother man. Like I said, you have the power to turn the tide on the entire game. Well, I mean, physical MC is kind of shit. And then tank one kind of fell off. Low key. I would not like that. Bang! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. Yeah, pussy. You wanna bet? Yes. Akron don't give a fuck. Nice cock shot by Well too. Is a complete and utter joke. Okay. You won't do it. Yeah, prove it then, bitch. Do it, bitch boy. <laughs> it's just another gamble. Yeah, you better go bankrupt, bitch boy. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. Sigonia, Senora. Senora comes to life in Honkai. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. In the golden sands. Yeah. But the sun could not kill me. Sounds the great. Sands sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Hey, sorry, buddy. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? That's depressing. Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Nah, I need it just because I'm sleepy. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Hey, shit, if you say so, man. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or crown to. Okay, well then, shall we? The dice are cast. Fire MC Cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. Yeah. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> No value at all. How did he do that? I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! He I forgot he was gonna look like this. Bro, what the fuck? Let's see who has the last laugh. I would love to. Let the game begin. Let's begin, bitch boy. Good times. Time to say. Let's bye. get this show on the road, baby. Bob. Okay. Let's start pumping this shit. Uh, do we shred this? No, we don't. Not yet. Okay, good. We got enough for all. Oh, we'll wait. No reaction. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Cut him up. Bop. Uh, we do one more. And now we fucking obliterate them. Yes, sir. Boom. Okay.
Holy, bro. Again. Yes, sir. Bro is actually giga tanky. Like giga, giga, giga tanky. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling a little dizzy. What the fuck does that mean? Goodbye to breathing. What the fuck did that mean? Another journey begins. Time to say bye. Okay. Yeah. We're finishing right now. <laughs> Next. As long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. That's a damn good point. It's very sad, actually. <laughs> okay, holy fuck, he does a lot of damage. Attack as many targets as you can. Okay, oh. Stand still. Oh. Enemy data submit mark. Fuck it all. Time for good old counter attack. What does this mean? Still water to the flip. Do I need to ult again? So we're good, yeah? Oh, we're good. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need to stop doing that right now. Okay. Pop this bitch. Yeah. Kafka. She put us up to three for Akron. It do, Akron. Shred him. Stand still. Yeah. Just for oblivion. Yeah. Prepare for speed. Never kill them all. Oh, we gotta do this shit again, don't we? Easy. Ready for another? Oh, Payla, I have a feeling you're not going to be... You're, I, I have a feeling that you need more... We're chilling. Okay, uh... Shit. Fuck my ass. We're probably okay. I can do this to, 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 to shoot the score up. I'm going to do that real quick. I have a feeling we have enough points now. Yeah. Good. And I got my ult back. Yo! Good, good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Thank God. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We go again. I weep for the departed. Dead. Huh? Down to the last player. So why can't uh -huh. I be happy too? Why can't I Don't, be don't way? cheat. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> that Himiko's laser oh, is actually, she can do that in fights and cannon story. That's insane. I'm starting to get a little impatient. With she just ripped the goddamn laser beam. That's so funny. <laughs> What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck? Yo, well, black hole is ass. What the fuck? I know you'll match my wager, right?
You're leaving? <laughs> oh, the flashback! Oh, the flashback! What the fuck, me. dude? What the fuck? What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not Tech looking tone? for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Nihility. Even if that's not what I want. Yeah, fuck him, bro. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. Yeah. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. Yeah. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Insane line. They mostly become a part of the shadow. Insane rebuttal. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color. But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Insane. Dude, the slow walk through the rain. Unleash your sexy so sussy baka mode. Pardon. Weeping like rain to swell the crossing stream. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I weep for the retarded. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. <laughs> Slash, bitch boy! Holy shit! Bro, she bitch boy Jujutsu Kaisen's barrier. That's what happened if Yami would fight Gojo. That cannot be good for the environment. Oh shit. Did, wait, did Adventure just get slashed in half? Um, wow, that's OP. Is bro in hell? Did she slice him in half? A gigantic black hole. And see. Did Bro get I... Bakura to the I Shadow see. Realm? A walk among the tombstones? This is where we go our what? Welcome to the sad world. Wait, did I buy dead? Precious wealth. We what the we fuck? Holy shit! After two days, it proves that you are the real deal. You've reached your final end. Bid farewells to in your final moments. Try your best to die without regret? Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. <laughs> what the fuck? We will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. It's a pity this is not- So this is the zone that Acheron sends people to when she ults? 
Because she weeps for the depart. Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form. <laughs> oh my god! The Nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more Nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my. <laughs> he destiny? dies, actually! The land. I the was dead. trolling! This is all but Wait, I game. like him though! One I came around to him! Of Ajax. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it. I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. God, she's so sexy. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. What does that mean? <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret Wait. which is even more unsolved. So Robin and Firefly are alive then? To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. Yeah? And lives to tell the tale. That's a good point. Someone already has. You. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still... Firefly? Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. Robin faked her but death? You don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. 
I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Firefly! A way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. That can't be good. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. What and the fuck? In your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. <laughs> the Aventurine Stone is too <laughs> Legit just bullshitting. to my escape from the stage. Insane. If Insane pathological day, liar. You did Insane. If you did your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Yeah. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. I have depression, kitty face. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? That's a great question. Anime. I don't think this. I never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. Based. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why then do we struggle against it? Why well, I can find out, brother man. Able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. Fucking dark ass quote. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. What? A new gem? In his pocket? Check your pocket. The fuck is that? Huh? Doctor's advice. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck.
Common ratio W. Well, shit. Where do we go from here? <sighs> then I shall get going. There he goes. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mister? Papa. I'm cold. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape? Yeah, I forgot to do my dailies and cookie run. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. And the Wi-Fi's terrible. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. But we're chilling, right? Until that time comes, I should be preparing. Because we're going to wake up and everything's going to be okay, right? For what? There is a happy ending in Petticoat, right? to face them, Kakamisha, and to make them proud. Because we're oh. chilling. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. Thanks, little homie. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. Yeah, because... <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. Put your little hand on my hand. Little buddy. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Oh. <laughs> you gonna give him the hat? Oh, what a good little buddy. Now? Yes. Oh, look at him go. That is May so the cute. Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Because she has three eyes because she's a triclops. Keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Wait, so is he dead or is he alive? Farewell, Kakava Chef. Holy fuck, he dropped his hat. Wait, that means he's alive, right? Surely? Yo, Tangerine, wake up. <clears throat> With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descended into the slumber of tonight. Until the dinette. <clears throat> But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, and every sinking night by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all. To weather tempest one out. <clears throat> and now, in the unfathomable depths of dreams, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest, quietly, peacefully. <clears throat> One outcome. Is he dead? He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> Jade has a voice actor confirmed. Your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Harvesting? I come for an audience. I come to fill wine, and I come to claim. I bestow you wonder why I the come? Of sweet dew. <sighs> come the toil of spring and yield a fall. 
I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. The Memory Zone? <laughs> Whose POV is this? <laughs> Wait. Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to... <clears throat> the indescribable force severs the power of preservation. While time and space froze instantly, your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plunge. <clears throat> until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. I'm Techie. You're awake. Hey, I've Sam. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Yes? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I, I know you. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. Yeah, where the fuck am I, bro? But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Yeah? Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. <laughs> yeah, at the gym, I'm on steroids I don't now. I know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. I'm, so, I'm, already, I'm already Tracer. There is only one method that I use. What? This is to show you. <gasps> what? All that I am. How the fuck does that work? I thought that shit was cap! Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. How the, the fuck does that work? Paranoid. Bro, bro, <laughs> do you- You are so funny, Mr. Hold Security up. Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. I've been told so many times that Sam is Firefly. And I went along with the bit. How the fuck does that even work? She was killed in front of us while Sam was also there. <laughs> How in the fuck does that work? Don't say nanomachine, son. What? What? She turned into goo. Sam wasn't there? Yeah, he was. Because he's the one who led her there when we were doing Firefly's flashback. Eh? I'm all at all. Aboba, what? Um. <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, how the fuck that work? How the fuck that work? Wait, what the fuck? First of all, hey boys, it, we're gonna finish. We're gonna continue on here. My head hurts. Sorry, I've been told I need to let you guys know. Hectone stole... Hectone stole Mr. Pokey's editor. 
Oh, anyways, yo, boys, I appreciate y'all watching Mr. Pokey. Very good dude, very good friend. Yo, Mod, shout out his channel. Please give him a follow. Very oh, that's dude. sweet. The bald man is so nice to his son. Surely he would never betray him. He's a very good dude. Uh, speaking of which, <clears throat> Mr. Pokey, I stole your editor. Right? Just give it, just keep it in a box. Uh, I stole your f***ing editor, and he's now going to work for me. Uh, uh, I can explain. Uh, if any of you guys want to check out this clip, here you go. We're going to finish the short quest right now. Uh, feel free to click on the new clip from more tech tone and give the channel a sub started building it up a day ago would be great trying to get to 5,000 subs before the end of the stream would appreciate if you guys were to go like and sub to the channel would greatly appreciate that shit would greatly appreciate that shit. let me uh, let's continue let's continue on let's continue on oh right, here we go What if, can Firefly make fake clones? And maybe what we saw was Sparkle making a fake clone of Firefly and that's what got killed because Sparkle just wanted to fuck with us? Like she did for the Acheron trailer where Acheron was fighting the clones? No, nah, because in the Acheron trailer, Firefly makes three clones. I can't even read chat. People are getting so fucking angry just for talking. I theorize about some bullshit from my people. Oh, fucking retard. You're a fucking retard. You're a fucking retard. Like, bro, I'm just, dude, this is where my head is at. Like, fuck, dude. Like, let me, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I obviously you guys know the answer because you've done it. I haven't done it, so how the fuck would I know? Okay, sorry, Sunday. What are you, what's going on? Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Kinda. Right here. Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties? He's so hot. It'll only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Yep. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. Yeah. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Ooh, I would not say that. I would not say that. I would not say that. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter, I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you. What? Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Kevin? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? What? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? Oh! You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed. 
Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits. What is he getting at? From all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. So, so is he sus? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. What the fuck is happening? Admiral. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? What? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. Why you did it? The answer to a question. Why? Why, bitch? You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Wait, so Sunday is a good guy? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. In a future collab? What the fuck? What the fuck? No! Wait, Brown killed White in the fucking in navigation? Wait, so Gallagher is the fucking goober? Yo, you fucking ugly bitch. Don't play this happen. Wait, what the fuck? And that's it? There's no more? We gotta wait six weeks? I thought Sunday was the bad dude. It was fucking Gallagher. Oh, I, I'm, I'm fucked up right now. I'm fucked up right now. 13 equals death. What the fuck's that even mean? Am I stupid or are we all confused here? How the fuck? Bro, I didn't suspect Gallagher of fucking nothing. I'm going to need like a, something explaining this shit to me because I'm confused as fuck. What the fuck? Tarot card 13 equals death. Yeah, I know that. I know that. The death 13 from JoJo's. Hell to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. I get that. He said he's third. Oh, bro, actually admitted that shit in front. Man, I thought that shit was a meme. What the fuck? Holy shit, it feels like my brain is exploding. What the fuck? That was insane. Uh, I wasn't going to do this today, but boys, boys, let's do a fucking giveaway. I need a second to, to decompress, so we're going to do, do a giveaway real quick. 
We're, we're gonna do a quick little giveaway. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna do a quick little giveaway. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here. Uh, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, um, all you gotta do is follow my Twitch. Twitch.tv for this tech tote. Uh, that's all you gotta do. Oh my God, what the fuck? Um, I've been told I'm not allowed to do giveaways the way I did it last time on YouTube, guys. So YouTube frogs, I'm letting you know. I will not be doing one of those on YouTube. I will be doing a giveaway on YouTube in a different means, and we're going to do it tomorrow after we go live. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, on my channel, More Tech Town, uh, oh, anyways. we'll just, uh, we'll do, we're going to do a giveaway on this video. If you just want to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, uh, if you like and subscribe and you leave a comment on this video, I'm going to pull a profile from this and you'll win a giveaway next stream. So if any of you guys want to enter that, all you got to do is go subscribe to my new channel, More Tech Tone. Go leave a comment on this video. Leave a like. That's all you got to fucking do for the YouTube oh, giveaway. Yo, boys, very, very, very you. simple. You don't have to do it, but it's an easier way to kind of just do this. That way I don't get in trouble with the website. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, all you got to do is click that video. That's it. Appreciate you. And if Twitch chat, you want to do that as well, you're more than welcome to uh, all right, cool. All right, you're going to do a quick little giveaway on Twitch. That way we have a giveaway for YouTube and we have a giveaway for... Oh, we have a fucking give Twitch. I've, my head's all over the place. What the fuck? Okay, uh, all you got to do is follow. If you win the giveaway as a follower, you win $100. If you win the giveaway as a subscriber, you're going to win $200. Uh, if you win the giveaway and you've gifted five subs to stream, you're going to win uh, $500. Uh, that's pretty much how it goes. Dude, what the fuck? My head feels like it's going to explode. We're going to go back to where we fought adventuring in like 30 seconds. We're just going to do this shit real quick, bro. I, okay. So what the fuck? Do I need to do Acheron's quest? Does Acheron's quest explain any? I feel fucked up and I feel like that's intentional. I, I feel fucked up. Uh, Sam appeared in the same spot later. Yeah, he did. There is no Acheron quest. Wait, there's not like an Acheron character quest? Okay, anyways, uh, let's just do the giveaway now. Uh, give, oh, keyword is Pog. All you gotta do is type Pog in my Twitch chat. That's all you gotta do. YouTube chat, if you wanna come over to Twitch, and just type Pog and follow the stream. That's all you gotta do. This giveaway in 30 seconds. I'll, I'll link my Twitch to any YouTube frogs you wanna enter the double giveaway. You're more than welcome to. Uh, here is my Twitch for anybody who wants to come over. Uh, you can do this in 30 seconds. 30! 29, 28. Oh my god, my fucking head is spinning, bro. What a good fucking quest. So, so I assume, I assume, I assume that adventuring isn't dead. Firefly is Sam. Robin's not dead because you can't get killed in the real, in the dream world, which means Sunday is fine. And Gallagher is death. I don't fucking know. Okay, fuck it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 